He's a real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, that means he a real nigga. How do you get me a chair? Right, I started the stream. Let me post this shit real quick. We can get going. My bed is not it. Everyone had a good day today so far? Oh, my day started off very emotional. But oh. then I went to the gym. And I feel way now. Mm, good. That's unfortunate. Emotional. Why? Huh? Why? What made it emotional? I have no idea. It was one of those days, you know? You just woke up, yeah. like, in I your feelings? Yeah. Couldn't pinpoint what my issue was. And then, here we are, huh? Here we are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're better, huh? Yes, definitely. I feel like this podcast can always help that, you know? That's our motto, guys. Safe place for everyone. Right. Yeah, I've got two kittens. It's a safe space for everyone, right? That's a Punch ten kittens. Um, no little baby cow. Huh? Safe space, remember? Safe space. No safe space, <laughs> I guess. I guess. For not. <laughs> no. Stay space kind of might not fly with PETA if you're out here murdering animals like that, you know. I'm just saying. Not murder. Just saying. Murder me animals. Who your day been cool? What'd you say? Your day been cool? Yeah, I just uh just kind of got everything ready for this camp tomorrow and shit to start, so. Okay, that's tomorrow. Fire. <laughs> Mark, yeah, Mark, plotting and trying to find a way to fire me. Oh, yeah. you know, I, I get it. You know, okay, I think little Dave should go if it's, if it's instead of me, you know. <laughs> Alright, put it like this. If you had a pick to fire one of us, I'll pay you like $60 to not fire me. That's more than yeah. little Dave will pay. Yeah, little Dave's going to give you 60 cents, so. Yeah. <laughs> You've had fun oh, getting that. Shit. Buzz, so, but Buzz been hounding me for $6. Oh, bro. he's going to hound you till he gets it. He ain't getting it. Oh, he's. he's hey, you. Like hey, 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 you gonna die? He gonna be at your grave like six dollars. Uh, my six dollars. Wait, you be smacking six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever you seen that video? One dollar What's up, boss? Dude, dude was at his bus funeral you know, and he was smacking. Okay. My money. Okay. He literally, <laughs> he he literally gonna hound your kids about it. Oh my god! Your mom would die without giving me six dollars. So one of y'all gonna come up with my six dollars. For one, okay. And that's um, that. Yeah, I mean for the for the the car. Okay. okay. Um, plus all these things. That's that. I mean, I just want to know, like maybe in the near like near future, you you really need to get, get done. that done. Yeah. Okay. It's that's not making the noise though. No, your noise is gone. Like, okay. yeah, we got the bearings in and everything okay. uh, installed. It's just, I mean, I gotta let you know because obviously it's a safety situation. Right, right, right. If something happened, I mean, you know, we let you know. Okay. Um, you said you were going on a trip. Are you driving in that for me? Yeah. Um, where are you leaving? I was supposed to leave today. Hold on, yo, I'm gonna call you back. Bye. Bye. Okay. Oh, hey, bestie. Well, do that. Oh, guys, uh, I mean, do we still do introductions or do we wait till Lee gets here? Let's just like do some questions. All right, guys, we're gonna, me and Markella are gonna do some questions till uh, Lee gets back from figuring his car shit out. So, go ahead, Killa. Okay, what number? Give me, do you, yeah. give me do you want to give me like a range first and then I'll answer like the the number from there or. Yeah. What um, is it? Let's do five through pick a number five through nine. Five through nine. Um give me seven. Seven? Yeah. I'm gonna just gonna pick a number. I'm gonna give you Wait, did I already answer seven or something? No, I'm just... I was doing it like hundreds, so I'm in the seven. Oh, I was about to say, damn, bitch, is my number just not good enough or something? No, it's not, but... 
fuck you. Whatever, my table. Okay, I'm going to give you 7 and then 19. So 7, 19. Okay. That one is, what social situations make me uncomfortable? <laughs> Cam, your answer is everything. I was about to say all of them. Um, but really like the ones that like conflict. Um... If, okay, so, like, this is really weird, but if there's, like, too many people, like, in one area of the store, it'll stress me the fuck out. So, like, say, like, I'm in the chip aisle, and there's, like, three people try to walk down, but, like, one person's going this way, one person's going that way. I don't know where to put my card at. Where do I stand at? Like, and then they start looking at me. But yeah. Um, and then also, like, bars are cool, but parties are no more. So people be shooting parties up now, you know? Like people always shot parties up. Yeah, you know, and like, like Kale and you, like, okay. you know, exactly. That's the thing. And you're like, oh my god, we're teenagers. We might get a shot at this random trap house, but whatever. Let's mm-hmm. party. So let's party in space. Yeah. I for that. What about you? What social situations make me uncomfortable? Yeah. Um. Definitely. I don't like when I'm like the main center of attention. Anything when I'm that um You sure? You begging yeah, to be the center of attention sometimes and then we give it to you. But that's what you say no and I don't beg. I don't gotta beg to be the center of attention. I just show up and that's just who I am. But whatever. Shut up. Um yeah, I don't know nobody. Like I hate being at a place where I don't know nobody. Yeah. Um Hmm. I, when things become awkward, like you can like feel the awkward. Time, yes, there was this one time, and I, I, I hate dudes like this. I just, I really hate dudes like this. But this one time, I was, um, I think I was at work, and this group of dudes came up, and then one just started dogging one of the dudes and like in front of me and it was just so awkward and lame and it was just like uh i hate this it's like, uh, it's like why you got to talk about this nigga just to try to like get attention yeah, it's yeah. like and i hate that like that's just lame and it's fucked up. And i was like <laughs> awkward so because everyone was just like, what? <laughs> like, where did this come from? <laughs> like, I see y'all were just standing there, and he just, like, walked up, like, blew, blew down on the dude and just started, like, dogging him? Yes. Like, I was, like, working, and then he just was, like, oh, 9 o'clock. Jeez. Yes, just, <laughs> yeah, just went in on his friend, and, like, because they were, like, standing in, like, a group. And I was just, like, and everyone was just, like, what? What is, like, why did you say that? <laughs> Imagine, like, being like that. Like, first of all, okay, you don't yeah, ever press like, someone, like, in public like that unless you really got beef. Like, this nigga shot your granny like, house up or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, And, like, to put someone down to, like, make yourself look cool is just not. It's not it. It's not oh it. God. It was like, oh, my God. Don't be out here putting people down to try to get some bitches or niggas, guys. Well, because especially not me. <laughs> unless they yeah. look like you know like unless they look really good and your friend gotta no. take one for the team no I'm just kidding guys but Markayla has done that before what? she called me a big headed loser one time I, I call your brother a big headed loser boy <laughs> but <laughs> I'll say that to you in private and public and <laughs> yeah nah that's, that's one thing about our friendship like we we always like the same energy we have in messages be the same energy in person like and, like, oh it's God. funny because it was Reva was saying that she was like, y'all motherfuckers are mean to each other. And I was like, it's funny because, like, we never take it serious unless it does get taken too far. But, like, we, like, yeah. other than... <laughs> Kaylin? <laughs> I'm learning oh, my okay. limits. I'm learning the limits, you know. That... I'm learning the limits. Wait, actually, she did not just say that to me. I felt so bad after I said it. But you, in my defense, you did kind of beg... So you, like... You like because forced it out. Enough, if you're bold enough to think it, you better say that's, it. That's see, that's not true because you you it. know my brain just just like just 
Mm-mm. It was just going. Yeah. It's just going, you know, the whole time. So, but yeah, no, that that's the one thing I like about us is like, it's never like we're acting the way we act for for anyone or like for like attention. Like it's just that's just yeah. our friendship, you know, like talking shit to each other, like it's just. just- yeah, just like acting like that. So, I guess we do it for like attention. I guess and clout in a way. Are weirdos? No, they are. And yeah, and you definitely have to know who to be like that. I remember I told someone to go to hell, and they <laughs> literally was in their feelings about it. And I'm like, damn, like I tell y'all to go to hell all the time, probably like daily, twenty times a day. But shit. We should keep it well. I, I, definitely like I don't know. That. To me, like, like I said, I guess I just know we're joking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just know it's a joke. I know it's what? like, you're not literally sitting here like, die, bitch, go to hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless you really think right. that, like, you know, whatever. But still, like, you're not, like, actually saying that shit. So, I don't know. I think a lot of people also, like, I don't want to say they're too sensitive because that's fucked up to say, but, like, Oh, I think because, like, we've been friends for so long, like, we've all lived the way we live that, like, we just have thicker skin and, like, just, we know how to take a joke, you know? You have to have thicker skin with the motherfuckers we grew up with. Especially Uh, Sean. uh, When I explain, like, my family now, I don't just always describe Sean as, oh, yeah, he's the baby and he's the most ruthless out of us all. We all take it there. We can take it there, but Sean will be there instantly and... (laughs) wake up on that type of energy and you're like oh <laughs> it's like you're gonna take it here like, sean is gonna take it up here it. every Mom, time take it. drag you to fucking hell drag you back drag you back <laughs> like, sean's no, different no. man he's different different like and i'm like wow i sit back and think about some of this shit and i'm just like would we like that you know i i only get that way when i'm forced to be that way yeah I think I think Sean just got Sean just got bullied too much, man. Like he literally yeah. just got bullied so much, like from being the baby. It was that yeah, that yeah. birthday, that birthday I did it for him. That birthday, that birthday transformed him into something that we couldn't stop anymore. He's a demon, like, though, bro. Like Sean, Sean is the one that kind of let us not give a fuck. Like what's like what he says to people. Like you know, how sometimes you'll say some fucked up shit and you'll feel bad after. Yeah. Sean doesn't. Sean does not feel bad. At all. I need to be like that. I can shine. Okay. Okay, you give me a number. Any number. Begin with. Three. Three? Okay. Mm. And guys, we are reading questions from the book right now again. Just in case you just got here. We are waiting for Leaky to get back. What? Okay, now give me another number. A second number. Double digit, single okay. digit. Double digit. 63. 363. 363. Sorry. What is the closest I've come to dying? <laughs> <laughs> Die before? Oh, yes. I almost died. When I was younger, I almost died. Oh, my God. I, thought I would have, yeah, I almost died. Oh. You almost drowned? <laughs> Yes, I jumped off this high board <laughs> and I fucking drowned. And oh my, oh my god. I like, what happened? Fine. You just couldn't I swim? Jumped off. I thought I could, but I jumped <laughs> off the diving board. And with me, like, when I go underwater, like, do anything like that, I don't close my mouth. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know why. I don't ever close my mouth. So I jumped in and. <laughs> I think all the water got in me, so I'm literally <laughs> drowning my hands. Go, I'm sinking to the bottom of my hands out of the top. And Jason, let me tell you what Jason was doing. Jason was getting ready to jump back into the thing, and I'm do- literally drowning, like, gasping for air. And he's literally just about to jump back in the pool. Like, he doesn't see me dying. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. And then my mom, boyfriend at the time, had to jump in and save me. But I almost died, literally, like... She was like, my baby! (laughs) It was the end for me, like, oh my god. And I never jumped off another diving. Well, when we went to K's, I jumped off that thing, but... You were scared, huh? It had so much water. (laughs) (laughs) Close your fucking mouth. 
<laughs> like Markela, you're 23. You don't know how to properly jump into a, po- a pool of water. No. Come on, dude. Come on. No, I don't. Because All right, I mean, we'll work on it next time. I think I'm like gasping because I'm so scared. I'm scared of heights. So Markela, Markela, like, wait. Because the case, case is literally the the body of water, and this is the ledge. It's like literally just like this. It's sitting on top of the water. There's not the much jump. Top thing. Oh, like, that one. That okay, one. that one makes sense. But that one too. But I also do the same thing when I jumped off that little board. <laughs> to get the you need thing. to go to therapy for this. <laughs> Not therapy. I don't know. You need to do something because that's that's out I, of pocket. Yes, that's that's when I almost died. Oh my god, I almost died. Jeez. Jeez, I never it's forgot about that. It's funny because my my thing was drown drowning too. And this one was not my fault. This was Lil Dave's fault. Actually, I think mom was died a couple times. Not a couple of times. So, both of them happened in Disney World, though. That's what, like, in, we went to Disney World. Like, we're swimming, and, like, I don't know what the fuck Lil Dave was thinking, but he, like, jumped on me. Like, like, j- like jumped in the pool, landed on me. So, like, I'm just, I'm just drowning at this point. Like, and I remember I just, like, opened my eyes and there was, like, a thousand parents just running up to me trying to get me off the water. My mom and dad were so mad. We weren't, we weren't allowed to swim on the deep, oh, like, the, yeah, the deeper yeah. end, I swear. Oh, Leek is getting his car fixed real quick, Wes. Um, it was that and then, like, when I got my hand stuck in the escalator. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was easy. That was, that was, uh, that was my fault. It was, okay, it was kind of my fault. Like, my dad, okay, you know, you and you, but it's like when you pack for Florida, you pack for summer, like summertime in Florida, you pack for hot ass weather, you know, you don't bring jackets with you to Florida in the summer. Like, why would you do that? So I, we didn't pack no jackets and it started like, we got there, it was pouring like for two days straight, like it must've been a hurricane or some shit. And we, so we literally had to buy jackets from like the Disney store or whatever. Man, why the fuck did we buy these jackets? And they were like. Mom was like two sizes too big, so I'm like, I'm in, I'm supposed to be in like a youth small. I'm in a youth fucking extra large or large, whatever the fuck it was. Right. It was big as fuck, and the sleeves were long, so I'm just walking down the escalator, you know, happy as fuck to be going on a plane, just not paying attention. And I go to walk off the escalator, my hand just gets pulled back, and I was like, oh shit, what's what's like what's wrong? Like, and I really look back, my hands just getting, my arms just getting sucked into the escalator. It was like some fucking Final Destination shit, bro. My dad had to just, like, yank my hand out. He yanks it out. It's just literally just bleeding, skin peeled, like, bones. Like, it was, it was just, like, it was just gross. Yeah, it seems gross. Yeah, and now, um, yeah. I have nerve damage in my right hand, and I can touch hot-ass shit with my right hand. You, you know, um, yeah, you deserve that one. Oh, <laughs> wait, <laughs> <laughs> Deserve that one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. That was definitely what you've noticed. But, um... Yeah, I mean, but honestly, when you look at it like that, like, that's, like, the closest I've came to death, I think, for sure. Mm-hmm. Close as you came to death. Definitely, I think so. I think it is. Because, like, I feel like I would know, but also, then again, like, maybe I wouldn't know, because that's a pretty traumatic event, you know? Like dodging they trying whack. They trying to hit me on the head. How much? They trying. They trying to charge you a lot, huh? What? They about to find everything wrong with that bitch. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah, but. It's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I'm sorry for interrupting. Where we at? Uh. I had just. Oh no. I just got the question. Um. Dang. What was? Oh. Oh, what is the closest, 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 <laughs> closest I come to dying? So, like, when, when did you almost die? Like, what number is that? Three sixty-three. What did you say? What is the closest I come? I've come to dying. Right. What was your answer? Oh, when I was drowned. When I was you were drowned. I almost drowned when I was a kid. Where at? South Park and Illyria? South no, Park and Illyria. <laughs> and those one people that had the pool on that? Where? In the Oakland house. 
you know where y'all lived in Oberlin? Yeah. So there was people that had a pool on that street, and um, oh, my mom. Point? Yeah, like I think his name was Alan or something. My mom's boyfriend was cool with him at the time, so we went over there to swim. Nigga named yeah. Alan. Yeah, I jumped off the diving board and I and. You know, <laughs> Who the fuck got a diving board in their back? Yard? That's some rich shit, bro. That's some rich shit. <laughs> It's one thing to have a pool, but a diving board? You're rich. That's like saying you gotta slide. You gotta slide. Literally. <laughs> slide, no, so It's crazy because I was at the bar. Whenever I get drunk, I just be going straight to the book, right? But I'm at the bar, and I asked that girl a question. She said uh, she, it was suicide. And so I just thought it was cool because I asked her. Right. It was like, that's the coach she came. She was like very low. And then, you know, we talked about it after. And she's like, yeah, but after that, I feel better. You know? Yeah. So, no, that was interesting. All right. Pow. Wow. Can y'all hear that? What is it? They're letting off fireworks, but then that sounds like explosions in my backyard. In your backyard? Yeah, my neighbors are lighting them off. Oh, okay, okay. Kinda, I'm kind of jealous. I forgot it's 8.30 out there. Yeah. I know. Oh, jeez. So what are we talking about today? What's... Hey, what's what's everyone... Everyone's feeling. Shit, um, yeah, Mexico. I can talk about Mexico. Who's that? Uh, Hell no. I, I don't. Know. Generally, though, I'm not sure. Let's keep flowing with the questions and then. Uh, Hell yeah, so I was thinking. Start, we'll just uh, rock out with that stick, huh? Talking shit. Sounds good. So. Okay, well, I guess I'll ask you guys a question can, since I talked about it earlier. When you don't feel like yourself, what do you guys do to give back for you to yourself? Um, so one big thing I learned lately was uh, sometimes I have to let myself get real low, mm -hmm. right? Meaning like masturbating, <laughs> binge eating food, sleeping on the couch. To kind of get this like disgust with myself, right? Yeah. Where it's like I'm I'm disgusted with you. Like I I can't even look at you. And then from there, I'm like, whoa. I guess the only way to go is up. And I say that because it's like, not to say when I get low, I just instantly go and try to go lower and go lower. But it's like I, when I notice that I'm low, I notice that the only way, you know, once I reach that point, is to go back up. And I always think that it's like. It's very momentum -y. and not only momentum -y, but it's like the moon. It's the same way that it just rotates and rotates. I think bad days, bad vibes, bad, you know, juju kind of flows in that same way where it's like sometimes you can't escape it. And so you might as well just sit with yourself at the lowest. And so to get out of that, it is the it's getting back into the routine, which is waking up and making sure that you just focus with your day. If I plan my night before and then my whole day goes exactly how I plan or a little bit different because it needs to be different. But it's like once you kind of get into the to the flow of things. So I, I would say trying to get back into the flow after I reach the bottom so I know that the only way I can go is up type deal. Oh. That's my answer. Sorry, sorry that's so long. Oh my God. No, no, that was good. That was good. Mm -hmm. I like right, that. How you get out your ruts? Um... Well, so it's actually like a similar thing, but it's like inadvertently, like I won't realize that I'm in a rut until I really am in one, you know, because like I do it. I'm really I'm like I'm working on getting better at it, but I try to like if I start to feel like I'm getting down, I'll try to like push it away. So like I think like, OK, like out of sight, out of mind, you know, so I'm like, but then it ends up just getting worse. But what I'll try to do is um, one, I'll make sure like. Any, honestly, it sounds really weird or dumb, but any problem in life I face, I meditate. Because it just, it just resets you, it gets your mind right to, like, think properly, you know what I'm saying? Like, it relaxes you, it's so, like, because you can't make good decisions on, like, a, a tense or anxious mind, you know? So I'll, I'll meditate, uh, I'll try to work out, just things that clear my mind. Um, and I'll do things that make me happy, you know? So, like, I'll play video games, you know, like, I'll, I'll go out to eat, treat myself to my favorite restaurant, I'll go sit outside with Dave and Layla. Um, just things that like make me high, like things that give me high vibrations. You know what I'm saying? I hang out with my friends, so just try no, to do I this. Like the, yeah, no, I like the meditating point too, because just for the sake of like talking about it, because you said it sounds silly. Like anybody who doesn't understand the power of meditation just hasn't done it before. You know? Literally, and the the key is is like the same way that that badass little kid in in middle in elementary school that can't stop moving and bouncing. 
if he was to sit at home and just sit still, like just imagine that kid sitting still for 15 minutes, not doing anything, but just thinking about sitting still. That right there is enough to calm you down to the, it's like reading. literally. That's what reading was for me for a long time was almost meditation because you're sitting still, your body goes into a sort of like, it's not delta state, but it's like a sort of state of consciousness where you're like just receiving energy. Yeah. Same way when you meditate, you, you release all of what's going on and allow things to flow into you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, if anybody who hasn't meditated should do it for five minutes. And even if you're not thinking about it like meditation, you should just think about it like I'm going to just try to practice being still. I'm going to try to practice just not moving my toes, not moving my fingers, not scratching at the itches, like just being as still as you can because it's that self-control. Once you control yourself in that way, then you're not going to, you're going to look at the cookie and be like, shit, like I, I, I control this. I can yeah. look at the, you know, whatever it is that's tempting you, or you're going to say like, I control this because I controlled myself earlier this morning. I controlled myself before I went to work. And, and then it's also, just to say it, I think it's like, when you are going somewhere that, like, I work at a bar, right? When I, before I go into the bar, it's important that I build a foundation in my mind of, like, strength, of poise, of confidence, and, like, almost like this wall that I can't be touched by anything that's going on. Yeah. And meditation helps, helps do that. It helps fortify your mind so that you're not easily penetrated by everything that's going on. And so anybody who hasn't meditated, please take the time. Um, and I even like that as a topic because it's, it's important that all the positive things that it can do for you. And that's why I try to explain to people, you know, I'm like, you know, like I, I meditate before I go to work all the time every day, just because like kind of the same thing you said, like you need that like foundation of like nothing like, okay, I, whatever's going on outside of my little, my bubble, essentially, it can't affect me. You know, it can't ruin my day. It can't ruin my mood. It can't ruin how I feel. Like how I feel is completely up to me. I, I used to meditate twice a day. So I meditate before I worked out and then before work and I would do it before I worked out which sounds kind of weird because you're like calming yourself just to go work out but it would put me in the right mindset of like you know like it would be, it would just be more like a positive energy type of thing because I'll listen to the guided meditations because that's what I use just because like it's hard for me to stay focused with just me and breathing you know what I'm saying so like the guided meditation will help me a lot and I've all listened to one of the positive energy so it fills me up with this positive energy so like after I do that I feel like I could go fucking hit my max mm -hmm. easy you know what I'm saying like go mm -hmm run miles and like i feel like i can crush anything in the gym so i think that that's i think it's important for like your mindset too yeah. and I, I think a part of it is programming too like which we'll, what we don't really like pay too much attention to is like you can put whatever set state of mind you want to be in into that computer in that state of meditation and then you'll kind of like it'll it'll become that so if you fucking want to be raged out at the gym you can meditate on raging out at the gym and you'll yeah. rage out you know and so it's literally like it's like that computer type state and the reason our compute like our brains are like computers and the reason why i brought up the delta state or the state of being calm is because you're more susceptible to information whether that's conscious information you saying i want to be more positive i want to be more still i want to be more calm i want to be more peaceful or if that's you saying or you know i want to fortify i want to be you know whatever whatever so it's like you know you could do it however you want um boo -boo, what do you think about meditation have you meditated or like what 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 is your experience with meditation? I think I tried it once or twice, but um, I just be having so much running through my mind that it it doesn't even really do anything for me. So, and I've that's what. But. Oh, so yeah, I haven't really gotten into it like that just because like there's just so much that goes on in my head that it doesn't even really help me to just sit there because I'm just sitting there thinking about all the other things that should be doing or could be doing. Yeah. And, and that's a part of the meditation process. So when I first started meditating, you can't get things out of your head and you're Literally. like, oh, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. But that's not the point of it. It's not to get it out. It's to sit with it. It's to acknowledge all of those things that are flowing through your brain, literally just going and going and going and going. And after that 15 minute session, if it doesn't work, try it again the next 15 minutes. And if it doesn't work on that time, then try it, you know, again the next time, because then what you'll see is like, once you start to calm that pool or that stream to where it's not like raging like a crazy river, but it's like a nice steady stream, then you can start to select what things to focus on. And you can pick that one thing and sit there in your imagination space and really focus on it, really lock into it, really like dip, 
de- pick it apart because I imagine all the things that you're thinking about are either crazy random or crazy significant to what it's what you're going you know through in your life and so I'm curious as to like as you develop that more sitting still more watching more just paying attention to everything that's going on how you can control that environment and that space and so everybody who's watching I urge you to do that just and booboo you too I want you to try it again which is just taking that time and just sitting with it and it may seem like it's not working we'll try it again tomorrow and then again the next day then again the next day and I guarantee after three or four days you'll kind of see what we're talking about where after 15 minutes it feels like you're high like you're walking around like literally just like hmm, like you feel like good as fuck like and, and Mar, and I'll, I'll put the link in the chat after like because i used to be the same way like just try, like i said like guided meditations might work better for you because it's literally something or someone like a voice telling you what to do it's uh it's constantly it's like as you feel your mind start to drift away it's going to talk to you kind of in a way and like bring you back in constantly and it just says like positive affirmations things like that so like while while you might be thinking these things, like you're probably thinking like while you're meditating, like, oh, I gotta get my oil changed, I gotta do this, 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 this. <laughs> I have this going on in life. In the back of your mind, those messages are gonna sit there and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna pop up at random times. Like, but like also like Leek said, like don't give up on it right away because like it took me weeks to actually like start to feel better. Like as far as like my like mental health wise for me, like meditation, like it started. Like it took me a while to like actually feel the benefits of it, but it it's genuinely like one of the things like i always tell people like i even tell my therapist like it's life-changing like and, it helps and so a, much. Good ex- a good example of it is like uh like the radio like a, a static radio right so at first the static radio is none but static and then you have to work on it until you channel it and tune it in to the part where it's like okay now i'm listening to one complete message it's no longer like i'm just what's it called oh shoot yo this girl's trying to holler at me yo Hey, look, though, real quick. Can y'all please keep it up for 10 minutes and I'll call y'all right back? Yeah. Cool? Yeah, I got you. Cool. This nigga. <laughs> Leak okay. ass on, nah, Leak not on lunch break. He waiting for his car to get fixed more. Okay. Ooh, Cam, I'm going to ask you this question. All right. What is the best All part right. about being single? Ooh. Well... Um, I think just like the fact that, like, I don't gotta be responsible for no one's feeling except for mine. Mm. I can do what I want, like, you know, I can go be with whoever I want to be, I can stay out, like, I don't gotta respond to no one. If I'm having a bad day, I can just cut my phone off, don't gotta worry about ignoring someone. Um, I can have all the hoes I want. Ooh, so you know what I'm about to say. You said... That you don't have to worry about anybody else's feelings, right? Oh, are you right? You about to you about to tear my ass up? I already know it. Yes, because that's terrible. Like, if even though if you're single, but if you're talking to someone and you're spitting your game, your little simp ass game, hey, it works. So don't do that. Yeah, you don't <laughs> care about your feelings, like. Ugh, so like, oh, it's not like I like, don't, but it's one of those things where it's like, I don't have to put the pressure on myself like you do when you're in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, I could put the, I could like care about their feelings, but I could also be like, okay, if this doesn't work out, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whereas like, if I'm in a relationship, I gotta everything I do is gonna somehow fucking correlate to the girl I'm with. You know, so like, if I'm with the girl and I want to go out with you on a Friday night. I don't say I got to ask her, but if we ain't spent all week together, I gotta think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to think about, like, what does she have going on this day, like, that she might want me to go to. Like, if she has some type of fucking shit she wants me to go to, then I got to think about, like, like when, I, like, when I'm buying, like, it's just a lot, bro. Like, being in a relationship is stressful. It I don't is. know. Like, it's, it's fun. And I like it. But it's also one of those things where it's, like, being, being single is, is, it's fun, too. But obviously, I think I'm, I'm kind of tired of being single, but. You know, I'm not going to get in a relationship in the summer because, you know, because that's where we agreed. Hot girl summer, but, you know, I bitches so. be out here sipping for niggas, but. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, how you, how, you, how you feel, though? About being single? Yeah. So, for me, I am, you know, social media, I am definitely a city girl. I gotta whip that, but I am definitely a simp, and I always end up 
<laughs> tied to one person when I should be you know, with most people because I am single. But <laughs> so I'm saying, like, <laughs> single life is for the birds. Yeah, but it's hard though because, like, even when you're single, but if you're talking to that one person, you're like, I, I still care about their feelings, and I still care. Like, it's still okay. What do I do? Like, okay, like if I do this, then that's gonna affect them, and then I'm gonna yeah, and exactly. If I do this, <laughs> If I do this, exactly, like only for the socials, um, we city goers, but behind closed doors, it's we simple for real. But, but like, it's like I'm just always worried about that. So, I guess I've never really, I'm single, but I don't be moving like I'm single, and that's the problem. What me. I mean, and that, that's but what, it's like, and but then, like, halfway through the relationship, I wake up and I'm like, hold on, I'm technically single, so I can. <laughs> Yeah, what I want to do. but I don't know. But th- th- that's what I'm saying. That that's the hard thing about like being in a relationship, I guess. Because yeah. like obviously, like it's it's easy to be single because you know you're just your own person. You you nothing you do affects them. But and that's the thing I hate about like the talking stage. It's like it's weird. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. you're partially yeah. single. You're partially in a relationship. So like you're expected exactly. to not do single shit. But you're also ex- not expected to do relationship shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like... Exactly. The That's talking stage like, is hard. Like, yeah. The talking stage is terrible. Like, I'm I'm about to quit when I'm about to just be like, okay, either we're together or we're not together. And that, like, look at it right now. Because, uh, And a lot of these dudes, I'm sure there's females too, but they want, like, to claim you're in a relationship, but don't put in, like, relationship-type efforts. And, like, that's a no-go for me no more. Like, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not. So that's why it's always like in the back of my head, this light clicks off, and I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. Actually, I'm single, so I can go do whatever I want to do. And until you make it known that I'm not single anymore, I'm going to continue to do what I want to do. Well, that's the thing that, like, sucks about it is, like, like (laughs) no, for sure. The thing that sucks about all this is that, like, you, like, it's, like, looked down upon in society to be like, listen, either we're together or we're not, like, People want you to yeah. be so comfortable with the talking stage, which is really weird to me. Cause like, exactly. you'll sit here, you'll sit here being a talking stage for six fucking months, oh, six, and yeah. then and then y'all just stop talking. That's a waste of your yeah. life. Like that's a waste of your time. And you know what I'm learning? It's really just like a placement. People are using you as a yeah. holder. Like, we talking for six months. You don't know if you want to be with me or not. Like yeah, no, and uh, like, and that's just that's uh, outrageous to me. Cause I'll be knowing after like. A like, week, a today. week. I literally, I didn't want to say today because I want y'all to judge me. But I, I know after like the first time we link, if I want to continue to be with you or talk to you, or, like right. after like the first like the first week we spend enough time together, you know what I'm saying? Like I usually know like okay, I want to do something with this, or I just I'm good. And that's the thing right. I wish that like people realize is that like it's fucked up to use someone in the talking stage like as just like they're there. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You don't want to be with them in the long run, but you you like you like the benefits you get from talking to them. You like the benefits you get from like them being there, and you just like having someone there. And that's the thing. Like I had to learn. I'm not gonna lie. Is like a lot of these girls I didn't want to be with, but it was convenient. They were fun. Like they were fun to they were fun to fill that space. And that's the thing I'm growing out of. I've noticed is that like recently, like I just don't. I don't. I, I'm not gonna lie. The last girl I played, I felt bad about. Look at that. Whoa. I mean, I guess. I don't like the guilt yeah. feeling, but, you know. But, like, I don't know. I feel like for, like, like it's just, it's messed up to, like, have someone fill this space knowing that, like, you're not going to ever, like, move anything past that, so. Wait. It's a yeah. cold world. Cold that's world how, being single. Yeah. That's how I was, like, too. I came to, um... Like, I I realized that about myself, though, like, um, I don't see myself with you, but, like, I'm, you're here right now, because I want, like, I need that attention, I need that, you know, I want that, but I don't really see myself with you, that's why I have, like, I'm growing from that, like, I haven't really done that lately, but, like, I've cut myself, like, I cut off access from that person, because, like, I know I don't, see them in that way wait 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 using the- Caca? No. <laughs> not 
Alice Chains. <laughs> no, not that. Not no. <laughs> Hello, Cam. And the person, the one oh. came bowling. That one, the one I was set up. Uh, <laughs> That nigga's nutcase. I would not be playing motherfuckers no more, Mar. I'm a changed woman. Yeah, no, but yeah. (laughs) But it's like when you realize that you're doing that type of toxic shit and you're like, oh yeah, let me just cut this off. Yeah, you feel bad. Yeah, I felt terrible because so now when I see him in person, I'm like, damn, you broke that little man's heart. Cam is for the streets. No, she's not. Whoa, whoa. Cam is for the streets. No, I'm not. She's a mayor. I. You you belong in the streets, and that's what certified crazy. lover girl. That's what this. That's the type of shit that you talk. But you certified know. lover girl. You're a demon behind closed doors. Like I yeah. I'm retired. I'm retired from that life. I was for the streets, but. I what. <laughs> I am now a certified lover girl, a one woman, woman, you know? Multiple. Okay, Marky, let's slow down. I'm one woman, woman. If I want to date multiple women this month, it's okay because it's Pride Month, guys, you know? You're allowed to be a whore during Pride Month. Just like, I can't say what I want to say on stream about Black History Month, but you can, you know what I'm about to say. You can, you can be your 100% super, super N-word, you know? No one's gonna judge you. That's funny. Uh uh-uh. uh. Alright, let's 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 do another. That was a really good one actually. I like that one. Yeah. Ooh. Why didn't my last serious relationship work out? <laughs> why didn't it or why did it? Why didn't it? Cause I was gay. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good reason. I'm glad you're living in your truth now. I mean, shout out to man. you know, shout out to me. It was been a, it was a long, uh, however long I went doing that shit, but, but not I me. Mean, my last one, like with the with, with the girl. Come, I was toxic. I was toxic. I couldn't just stay with one woman. You know. But I didn't cheat on her. I just You said but <laughs> <laughs> I just like I just like let her on to like I gotta do what I do what we talked about. Like I kept her there to the side, let her on, you know. Um mm-hmm. and I was talking to other girls the whole time. And my my my, my excuse every time she would press me would be like, Well, I'm we're both single so But one of those things where like I didn't want her to be with anyone else, so it was it was kinda toxic. Yeah, that is toxic. Ooh, you know, I know. You know, I mean, but but you, you you grow from it though. But it's like one of those things where it's like, okay, it was toxic, but like, was I really wrong for me not wanting? No, I mean, it was toxic for you to not want her with someone else, and when you couldn't give her what she needed or wanted in your relationship. But as long as you were honest about that for her and let her go, I hope you let her go. I'm blocked. I'm I'm blocked. So yeah. <laughs> Good for her. Good, Good for, her. for her. If you didn't block her, I would surely tell her to block you. That's fucked up. Surely <laughs> tell her. She'll unblock me one day. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then once she does that, I'm gonna wait till she says hey, and I'm gonna block her. <laughs> wow, Betty. No, you gotta beat it to the punch. You gotta see that message green. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you right. You right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lordy. Cause once you on that block list, you damn near on there for it. Let's well, I made it, it off the couple block lists. And you're proud of that? What? <laughs> oh me, why can you like oh I made the block list? How about you guys? She's like soft flex. <laughs> soft flex. <laughs> soft flex, you know. I try to be as, as toxic as possible. Any block list I'm I'm on, I'm off within a week. You know what I'm saying? And that's that leak as you Word should. Out, baby. Hard, baby. I'm off within a week. Okay. Can't block me longer than a couple hours. No. Nope. Sh- She'll be back. She'll be back. What's love? Too much. Back. They love me too much. They love me too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Lee, why did 
Why didn't my last relationship? Why didn't my last serious relationship work? Why did it? Why didn't? Why it? didn't it? Um. Shit, I'm not really a relationship kind of guy. Goddamn. And ask that. Uh, but uh, the last one, it was because I had my first place. I had my first apartment in Cincinnati. Um, you wanted hoes, huh? No, it was just like uh, I needed that space. Like it was my first crib, you know what I'm saying? Yada yada. So it's like well, for me, happy laid up under all the day, all the time. All the time. Exactly, and she stayed the night. The second night, I had my crib to myself or something like that. So I went to class, and she woke up and made the bed, cleaned the room. I come home, I'm like, no, this ain't this ain't it. I don't know what it is. Wait. Like, you said she's everything. still here. She did everything right, but I'm just like, I know, like, we'll be, I know this will be too comfortable. She'll be staying here. She'll be sleeping here. So, more of the story, I just needed my space, and and I, yes. I put that in, in one of my songs y'all gonna hear. Um, I really liked the girl. I did a lot, but I just needed my space, and so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's the girl who told me that for every child she has, she's gonna plant a tree. And I was like, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard, and I will be doing it. So that is beautiful. You know. See, look, she, she gave you an idea. No, right? And I, I bed, Queen Joe, Boom up, made your bed, and gave you a good idea, and you said, fuck out my face. <laughs> it, and it wasn't, it wasn't that. So I told my girl now, like, she just, she's moving out, in the process of moving on, so. And I'm like, for me, like, I need a nice ghost process. Like, I'm about to go ghost for, like, a week, you know? Maybe two, you know, just kind of like, just get it out of my head to kind of reset. And so that kind of happened with her too. And she was like, she she told me, she like, if you do it, you're going to regret it. And she wasn't even like that. Yeah. That was like feeling herself, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're going to, she was just like, kind of like really like. Uh, you frozen? Uh, It sounds like guitar notes. <laughs> what is all my, my notes? My back hurts like something crazy, man. So your back hurts? Mm -hmm. So, why didn't your last relationship work out? Um, it's kind of... Uh, mm. Hello? Like there it is. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Are you there? All right. Yeah, no. More of the story, though. First relationship didn't work. I uh, needed my space, right? It's just like, I just had my first apartment. If anybody has their first apartment, you'll know. Like, I don't want nobody up under me. Not yet. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some feet under my, some ground under my feet. Second one, I went to uh, move to Cincinnati and uh, I loved her, too. But, you know, she just... Or I moved away from Cincy, so that didn't work. Good question, though. I like that one. What's a good question? What's your you answer, Mar? That you just um, I guess I feel like I already talked about it, like, in the past. But it just wasn't really... I feel like we didn't really see each other. Like, I, you know, I have, like, a lot of... I was watching you the other day. But there's a lot of people that always tell me, like, oh, I like you because you're a good person or... Like, you're always nice and da 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 And then I'm like, and it makes me think, like, okay, but what about the days when I'm a fucking bitch and, like, I'm mad at the world? <laughs> like, like, and I am do hurtful things. Like, will you still like me then? Probably not. So I hate when people tell me that, honestly. But I think we didn't really see each other for real. Um, yeah, so I think um, once we really got to know each other, it was kind of like, dang, you're not really who I thought you were. Yeah. Um. So I guess we didn't see each other, but we see each other now. But yeah, what more? Is so, it, is it over and done with, or um, was that a relationship, or was that the, like what you guys are talking about the talking stage and stuff? It was kind of the talking stage, but like it's kind of like what I said. I feel like all of my talking stage. You know, I don't get like, the tea on none of this shit. I mean, <laughs> Because your brother, you know? Your brother. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, like, I was talking about, I feel like all my talking stages feel like relationships just because, like, if I really like you, then I focus on yeah. you and then don't care yeah. about nobody else. So then, to me, it feels like relationships. But 
that's why we didn't really work because I feel like we didn't really see each other. It's um I think it's over. Well, I don't know. We're trying to be friends right now. So um. Well, can I ask a question? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, how much of yourself do you give a person in the talking stage? Oh, oh. That's that's oh. not good, but. Like, what do you mean by like that? Right. And that's just like if a relationship is one hundred percent. Like once it's yeah. a commitment, there that's a hundred. In the talking stage, where are you at? In percentage wise. Hmm. I want to say, uh, I feel like it's a lot because, like. I do do a lot, like a lot of relationship type things in the talking stage, which I'm learning not to do, but <laughs> I, like I'm there 100%. Like, you need me, I'm there. You like whatever, I'm there for you. So, um, I think it's a lot. And I don't really like that because I mean, I don't really talk to dudes, but I feel like I couldn't get that in the same way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if I show up for them, I feel like they would show up for me, but. It's hard yeah, though. It's, yeah, it's like it's hard. It's hard trying to decide how much you would give someone in that in a talking stage. That's why I really don't like talking stages. Right. Because it's like either I'm all in or I'm not in at all, and I'm using <laughs> it sounds terrible, but I'm using you and your right. attention that you give me, hmm. and I don't see nothing else with you. But but I feel I feel like it's hard. Like like kind of how we talked about before. Like I feel like it's really hard for us to like give half ass love because like 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 our look like look at our circle like we always talk about it always comes back to that like and that's why I think like a lot of our relationships do either do really good or really bad is because like we come from such a loving family or loving group of people, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's hard not to like because like all of our all of our energy and all of our stuff is genuine, you know, but it's hard like not to like go out into relationships expecting like someone to be like that or like it's especially for me like i'm such a like we're like we're all like such nice people and giving people like it's hard to like and i guess like in a way know our limits and like kind of like expect people like to do bad things because like you know like we've always had such a such good things like good energy in our circle like so sure. like i want to ask y'all because i was thinking about it earlier like I was in the shower. Like when people like when I just talked about earlier, when people say that to me, like, oh you're a good person, da 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 it makes me feel like I can't be that other side of me, like you know, where I'm like and mad or like I say hurtful things because I'm angry or whatever. Like I feel yeah. like I can't so that way I'm not a hundred percent there because that is me, like that's the side of me that I don't necessarily like to show, but that is me, and it comes out sometimes. So it's like hard for me to be. After they say stuff like that, I look at them like, "Dang, like, like you're not gonna like that." Like, yeah, you, no, literally. When you see that other side of me, like, no, you're probably not. It's like, oh, what I said about you. It's like Joe was like, um, when people see the other side of me or the real side of me, they always end up leaving. And I was like, "Dang, hold on." Ew. Well, no, and. And that's that's what I, I tried to tell this girl I was talking to a couple weeks ago. I was like, she was like, you know, it's okay for you to get like mad at me. And I was like, obviously, I was like, but I was like, but like, I'm not. First of all, I'm not about to. We're just talking. I'm not about to give you the power like to make me that mad. And second, I was like, I was like, that's just not a good side. And no one, no one, when they're mad, is a good side you want to fucking see. You know what I'm right. saying? So like, like it's just I don't know. I feel like a lot of times like. Especially like we like it comes out to like how we were raised once again. We've always been raised to be very like forgiving people. Like it's like one of those things where it's like forgive but don't forget. You know what I'm saying? So like, don't hold grudges on people because like life is just so short. Like it's just not, it's not good to hold grudges like that. You know. So, but like then again, like it's one of those things where like you feel guilty for being mad sometimes because you're like, damn, like what do I, what like what does this really matter? Like is this fair to that person? So. So, so one thing that I noticed, especially in my relationship, which I had to talk to my mom about, was, like, how that just needs to be addressed. Like, it just needs to be mentioned. Like, yo, like, I'm having a bad day today. Or, like, even in the beginning of a relationship, like, sometimes I go through some ruts, you know? Or I'm not me. I'm not exactly who, you know what I'm saying, who you thought I was. Like, I turned into a bitch, this, that, and the third. And I know my girl sees that in me because it's like, yo, there's sometimes where, like, I'm an asshole, you know what I'm saying, top to bottom. And then she's like, what are you saying who I... 
But I noticed it with her, right? Because she's this bubbly personality, always hype, always happy, always this and a third. So then when it kind of switches, you know, when she's like mad, I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like this ain't right. this ain't who I but I never I never think of it like this is an end all be all. Like since she got mad one time, I'm like, fuck her, she's not who, who I thought she was. Like no. Yeah. I don't think it's ever that deep. It's just like you just have to express that and just let them know, like, yo, today's not a day. And mom and dad said that they got to the point where they don't even have to say it. And they could just look at dad and be like, yep, not talking to him today. You know, like, <laughs> looking at him, like, nope, oh, not talking to her today. So it's, it's definitely a part of that communication thing. Yeah. I think I think we also have to know, like, it's okay to give people space. You know, like, it's yeah. it's okay, like, if you're in a relationship to, like, be like, listen, I love you, but, like, just give me some space today. And like or like be like I love you but I'm gonna give you space today like I feel like you're having a bad day but please reach out if you need me you know that type of thing and I think people like people like often think that like mistake that but like oh I don't want them to think that I don't care about their problems or that they're ignoring me but nine times out of ten like if someone's having a bad day they just don't want to be bothered like yeah and so let me let me bring this up real quick because it's been on my mind heavy I got a coworker who he's been with this girl for a while. And he said that, like, when they start off, they kind of have, like, a toxic relationship type deal. But it's, like, they're older. He's, like, 45. She's 45. Whatever, whatever. But I, I'm going to ask her this question. If y'all was with a man, and, and ladies, y'all would answer different than men would, like, honestly. If y'all were with a man and y'all been together, let's say, two years, he gets in an accident, handicapped, no, no legs, can't walk no more, how long are you going to be with him until you pack your shit and leave? <laughs> Anybody answer, I, went, I need the honest answers here. How long until you're like, you can't do this wheelchair life no more? You're like, I, you know, I'm gone. Because it's different if you signed up for it. If I dated a, a girl in a wheelchair, I'm like, yeah, okay, like you I, knew what you're getting into. You know? Mm-hmm. And so, right, I, I say, I give her like three months grace period, you know, like, babe, sorry. So, like, <laughs> It, <laughs> but, but like but there's there's like but that's like okay so like it sounds messed up but you gotta look at things like this and like okay do you guys have kids yet you know what i'm saying like if you don't what like a lot of people want to have kids you know and like that's a legit reason to leave like you can obviously like still like be in their life to like support them but like you you can't give me what i want which is kids like even if you're a man or a woman, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't like you can't have kids with regardless of that person anymore. Um and like people don't realize like taking care of someone who is disabled is a lot of fucking work. So I'm not gonna lie, like it it would be like one of those things where I'll be like, Listen, I'll wait till you know you got you got out the hospital, you're stable at home and you got like some shit lined up, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, like but listen, it's like one of those things where like I would try to be your friend still, but I'm not gonna be romantically involved with you because it's a lot taking care of someone in the wheelchair. It's a lot emotionally because, like, they're constantly, like, they're going from being able to do everything that they can by themselves every day to they can't do shit. can't do nothing. Like, and so, like, so I, I asked that question because that isn't the actual case, but I told him that because this girl he's messing with lost both her sons. Damn. And so they, they were out at a lake and they were, you know, swimming, whatever, and two of them drowned. The homie there would survive, whatever, whatever. But both her sons, she loved both her sons in the lake. Same day, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So she's That's traumatic. Horrible. She's traumatically, yeah. you know, and like scarred. And so yeah. He's with her. And so I asked him the question. I said, if, if she was in a wheelchair, how long would you, you know? And so I kind of relayed that and try to put it together yeah. for him and his mind to be like, like, if you are willing to stay with the person in the wheelchair, then y'all be together forever and you'll make it work. But if you are the person who says, I'm not dealing with this wheelchair, then you go. Yeah. And I try to tell him that because they're going through a lot right now. And it's, it's, he's like, he's dealing with her bipolarness. And I'm like, bro, like, all right, number one, just for the, the sake, he like a, he's like an old stud. He's like an old man. He's like 40, 40 years old, like right out of his prime. Yeah. He used to be. He used to be a stud. You know what I'm saying? White boy. I, I looked at him first thing. I'm like, he's going to fuck all the white, old MILF ladies. He's going to hit all of them. But he like Latina ladies, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So so for that, I'm like, bro, the problem is, is that you're, you're like, he's in love. Like, and whenever the man is in love, if it's to a manipulative woman, you're going to lose. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there's no, there's no way around it because like, you're giving too much of yourself. And at a at a point for a man, it's a weakness, you know what I'm saying? So I, I say all that just to say, like, when it comes to certain things in relationships, you can't even, like, 
you can't you can't save everyone. You know what I'm saying? You can't save everyone. You can't also like sacrifice all yourself for certain things. Like yeah, if I'm with the pro in that situation. Yeah. See, it's a it's gem. Like, that's a gem right there. But it's also right there. But it's, it, and it's also selfish, right? And that's why it's like we got to look at it from both point of views because you know, like somebody is with somebody still who got an accident in a handicap. You know what I'm saying? And like we commend them, we show them love, we do this and the third. Same here with him. Like he is stressing. Like come to work, can't talk about nothing else. But like you know, and I ask him, you know, how long are you gonna deal with this wheelchair? This lady in the wheelchair, and even though it's not the same thing, it's kind of similar. You but know? it's it, putting him the same emotional term. It's the same thing because it's like one of those things where like you're. I'm not saying he's only with her because he feels bad, but it it. Right. But but that that's what it boils down to. Like like you're letting her treat you like shit because she's. It's like okay, it's like it's how you look at anyone. Like you're letting her treat you like shit because she has bipolar and she's having another episode, but that's not fair to you. Still, like no matter like even if like like I'm sorry, but like it's not okay. You can't stay with someone because you feel bad. They have a they have something wrong. Like obviously, like that's I couldn't imagine having two sons losing them both in the same day. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't imagine that shit. That's the the worst fucking thing possible. But he can't be with her and tell himself that he loves her. Because he feels bad for her. Right. You know, obviously, like, I've never been in that situation, so I can't really, like, really, like, 100% speak on it, but that's just, like, my opinion on it, you know? Like, a lot of people get, a lot of people end, end up staying in relationships like that because, like, like, yeah, they, they have, they have love for them, but they're not in love with them anymore. They just feel bad, right. you know? Yep. That's, there's, that's no place for a relationship. There's no. <laughs> pity, pity is nothing. You feel like what? selfish if you walk away like yeah. i said it's a battle before between you feel like you're being selfish and then doing what you know is right for you but a lot of people don't want to seem like the selfish for giving right. up on something right. that they once loved but like life happens now you don't really love them no more because of it or do you don't like what life changed them into Ooh, mm. that's mm. home uh. Then that's why the wheelchair question is so beautiful because it's like that is a good that's a good one. You know, good way to put it, it. Makes, it makes you think, you know, like yeah, yeah. You no, know, actually, a wheelchair could be, you know, a dip something else. Mm. Tough, tough, tough. All right, but I need a question off the book. I need, I, I got a good one coming. I can feel it, Mom. Okay. Sure. What what numbers? Do I give numbers or who gives numbers? Yeah, you give numbers. You give numbers. Okay. I feel like I feel like you on a roll today. You on a roll today. So can I just? Take anyone? Yeah, you, you've been yep. doing good ones. Yeah. Let them let him speak to you. See, you got a book now. Go ahead. Put it, show it to the camera. Show it to the camera. You know what I'm saying? Everybody go ahead and go get that. Go get that. Let's see it. Mm. Go grab it. Trying to get the book. Okay. Um. I kind of, ooh, I like this one. What desires keep tugging at my heart? Hmm. All right, so I'm in a relationship and I want to explore my explore other options. And it's like I've been having a lot of conversations about it, right? But it's like, how do you balance that without making the other person feel like they're not enough worthy, right? right. I was about to ask, how does she feel when you talk about this? And so I'm at a place right now with my relationship where, like, she's just like, she's a simp. She sent me a text yesterday. And put one zero zero comma zero zero comma zero 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 comma zero 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 percent simping for you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I feel like I have enough. Of her <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> However big that number is, I feel like I have enough of her Jesus. to the point where you know of her mind and her heart and her soul to the point where I could do that. And as long as I'm respectful, as long as I'm not like sneaking and you know this down the third to where it could it would be a, it could be like a healthy boundary you know what I'm saying yeah. where like it wouldn't be so you know emotional distraught but I was talking to a homie he's like stop saying the word cheat like you're you're fucking your own self up by doing that he's yeah like, just say say it in a different term because you say the word cheating you some if someone here is cheating they automatically think negative you know what I'm saying but if you try to put it in a different way to where it's like I'm not trying to hurt or I'm not trying to you know what I'm saying? Sneak me on her back. Like, if I need to, t I'd rather just keep it from you. But if I need to tell you, I will, right? And so I've got to the point where it just been, it was tugging at me and I had to speak on it and ask other people their opinions. And then by that time, like, once I kind of spoke about it, I'm like, well, shit, she, I'm, I'm not really even thinking about that. 
So it was actually a cool little process. Like, not that I'm not thinking about it, but you know, it's like I, I valued her a little more for even accepting the the conversation. You know yeah. So, so exploring my other options is one desire that really t- is is really tugging at me. While while in a, I must say. While in a relationship, so an uh, open relationship. See, and then I have a girl I work with who I talk about these things with, and she's like, well, how do you feel if she did the same thing? And I said, well, I'd leave her. <laughs> and then she's like, well, that doesn't yeah. seem fair. She said, that doesn't seem fair. Yeah. But in my opinion, I do believe, and this may be a false opinion, but I think women love different than men. I think a man could do that. He could go and have that as long as he doesn't keep stringing it along, making her catch feelings, having him catch feelings. Like it won't, it won't go that far. But if a man doesn't keeps it discreet, keeps it short, keep it sweet, not to where Shorty's in her DMs, like yo, your man's been DMing me and talking to me for two weeks now. No, it was twenty four hours. It was four. There is no love there. I love you. You are my home. You know what I'm saying? It's like this is how I pitch it. I'm trying to pitch it to y'all, right? You are my no, home. Because- <laughs> I love, I love you. He had me locked in. He had me locked in. I was like, damn, you know this is it. Who he sounds like him. You know who he sounds like him. Oh my Ta-da! god. Uh, uh, love it. So like this dude that I was dealing with, and this is like he one of his things was like, if I could I could talk to other people, but as long as I don't sleep with them, it should be all right. And I'm like, what? No. And I'm like, so I say I can do the same thing, right? And he's like, right. no. Shut yeah, we do, we we do we are like damn. <clears throat> what are you? Are you a Leo? Yep. Leo, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has up. It has up. But I, I feel like you know it's that's not something that's gonna last forever, right? So if and that's one thing that I always was conscious of. It's like I'm not about to like if something me and her last a long time. I'm not gonna ruin it by being like sneaky snaky lying if i you know like covering my no no i'm gonna be 100 i'm gonna be real if it hurts you i'm sorry you know what i'm saying like this is what we're gonna deal with because we're gonna face it because one thing i don't want is like you know who who we know where like she knew he cheated but he lied still you know what I'm saying? Right. yeah now she don't respect him because he lied to her face you know exactly. and so and so, yeah, I, I have that rule in my mind where it's like, if it lasts longer than 48 hours, you know, then I'm not, then it's, it's, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I keep it short, sweet, and not, you know, not talking, not looking for nothing crazy, like, then it'd be cool, you know? And it's not, it's not nothing crazy. Cause I also, I also introduced the idea of having a, me and her have a girlfriend, right? And I, I get, I get Genius. You know what I'm saying? So me and her go out and we find another girlfriend. So it's like they, we do this together. You know what well, I'm saying? Can she go out and find another boyfriend? No. No. <laughs> it, right, get that off the camera and move out the way. Watermelon. Thanks. Watermelon. Yeah, no. But that's what that's what that is though. And so I don't know if, if I'm I just I like to talk about it, right? But at mm-hmm. least I talk about it. You know what's up. Now no one's in the dark, and we can just kind of like move on from there. So, you know, type deal. Beautiful. But I, but don't don't let nobody pull that shit on y'all. Though. I'm gonna say that. Oh no. no. <laughs> don't let no. Oh no. So, because that should that should really. Mm. Ooh, that's crazy. <laughs> because I I've always that's. That's so funny that you say that because I feel like that would really mess with someone that you're with, like mental. Because then you're in the back of your mind, like I'm not enough for you. Like that's yeah what I'm feeling. Like you're making me feel like I'm not enough if you have to go outside of all relationships to find, even if it's just talking to someone or spinning your little game or whatever y'all do. It's I still feel like I'm not enough though. Like why are you making me feel like that? If you love me, like why are you making me feel like that? But and then there's there's that like that's what we talk about with the wheelchair thing is like who who am I putting first, um, his wife but not sisters and and I Wes I would just say, um, because he said Leek would suggest his wife but not sisters and I would just say I hope my my sisters would be smart enough to to find a man who isn't as I'm not gonna say alpha but it, who isn't as like uh, whatever that that macho ness, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying go find a simp. I'm not saying go find an alpha male going to, you know, fucking dog you out this and the third, but, like, if you could find that healthy balance, and I think that's what I am. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't done it yet. It's only a thought in, in the back of my mind type deal. Uh, do you not, 
uphold them to the same standard. It's just different. And I, I know they're the same. I know that y'all love different the same way that we do or the same way that she do. You know what I'm saying? Like where you will be head over heels for somebody. And like, even if they cheated three, four, five, six, seven times, you would make it up in your mind. Like, I still love this person. Maybe not. What do you mean by that? We <laughs> <laughs> okay okay maybe not six seven times you know what i'm saying but it, you keep a relationship where somebody's even, I'm not sure get past one. even somebody's like, getting beat on you know how do you how do you you know what i'm saying whatever whatever like they still stay they still go back because women love different if a man was getting beat on i'm i doubt he's th- you know may, and that's, that's well, you should beat the bitch back up because you know i could be wrong right right you know you should i mean I'm, there's some wrong, dudes but, that like that though that are in relationships where they're getting beat on and you know and that's they the don't tell, but they don't tell a soul because you're a man. Like people look at it like you're a man. Yeah. Why are you getting? Why is your girl beating on you? So, but I, I, there's I, a lot of domestic type um, cases against women though. But I, I fucked up. That's that verbally abusing. You know what I'm saying? Rather than actually like. Yeah, you, a lot like of them I, will put your hands on you, but they'll cut you down. You know what? Cut you down. Man. I seen you get your ass whooped last week at the club. You ain't no man. Bruh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, they was lying. Man. These niggas have the audacity to be like, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. My nigga, them words hurt. Feel me, man. Imagine going home to that every single day. Ugh. Nope. No coochie is good enough. Where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here and get dogged every fucking night after a long ass day. Like, what do you mean, like, rather just be alone. Like, <laughs> to be like that. Well, it ought to be like that. No, that's right. Mm. Yeah, that's. But no, so uh, moral of it though, I think she loves me enough to like. So if it would make if it would make me genuinely happy to go do that, then she would be like, okay, yeah, I would sacrifice that, you know. And so that's all I think that is. I don't think it's like malicious. It's not like you know, let me go behind her back and try to break her heart. Like no. It's... Mm-hmm. You're being no. open and you're being honest about the things that you do. But how honest? Or one. How uh, honest? So, so this is what I was going to say, too. It's like, this, like, you know how you said guys go out and spit game, yada, yada. But, like, a girl go to the club, sit there, look sexy as hell, and turn everybody down. What she's there for is, quote, unquote, there for her friends. But, like, everybody loves that validation to know that they feel themselves. Oh, you popping. You did Even if you turn the niggas down, like, that's still, in your mind, that's still, it's not cheating, but it's like, you're, you're receiving what I'm getting in the same process, you know what I'm saying, of, like, of that, of that validation, of that, like, whatever, whatever. So that's what I think it is. Like, I work at a bar, you know what I'm saying? Like, if my girl come watch me work at the bar, she's going to think I'm ten times sexier because this girl's hitting on me all the time, you know what I'm saying? So it's, like, just in that sense, it's kind of, like, it brings it brings a healthy balance. Like um, But I, I'll keep you updated because I don't think I will. <laughs> I might, I'm gonna just break. I would break up with her first, and then you know. Do your thing, then. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's like, I think, that. So that's what I was gonna ask. Do you see yourself letting her go during your process of exploring other things? Oh uh, yes, but she's hard to let go. I must say. Exactly. A lot of dudes can't let you go, but want to go do other things, and that that doesn't work around here. Well, I mean, she. That doesn't work around here. <laughs> <laughs> not that I, you know, I'm forcing her to stay, but she won't leave. Is what I would say. Yeah. You know, to the point where, like, like I said, but, she loves, me. she loves you. But go ahead. Let me tell you that thinking she might fuck around and really leave, and then. But but that's where it's like I'm okay. Like I'm so detached. Like I detached myself a long time ago from the relationship, to the point where like it's not. I I've already thought about that. Her packing all her shit, moving out, and saying fuck you, nigga. And I hope she does that. More power to you, baby girl. Because at this point, you can't. You can't. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't do that at a certain point. Now she can pack up, be like, fuck you, nigga. Um, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? So, but Wes, though, one thing about it I will say is it is mad toxic, but I think it's a cool, yeah. it's cool to kind of like work through it, right? It's not, it's not a uh, set in stone. It's more like, um, you know, working through it. I'm having this conversation with y'all. I want y'all to conflict my ideas so I, I can come sharper and, you know what I'm saying? So I don't look like a fucking goofy on live talking about some shit that ain't re- like real you know what i'm saying but it's real to me that's the only reason i speak on it but the only reason why i speak on it is so people can cut it down and help me shape it you know what i'm saying take my ball and go home <laughs> okay. hell no so yeah I, I think that's what that is um but yeah so it's all love though I, it's up to this point it's been nothing but a, you know what i'm saying pretty healthy relationship and so that's why I, uh 
it'd be a beautiful thing. Okay. Yeah. But like I said, don't y'all don't y'all don't fall for that shit. Just leave the nigga. Oh no. Just leave it. Leave it. Call I, it once I get a whiff of you out doing your own thing, yep, that's a wrap. I'm gonna go do me. It's like yeah. Got you. Cause I you can't I just I view that as you're playing in my face and you're trying to make me feel like I'm not I don't know, good enough for you. Even I mean, though in no way you you're viewing it as like, no, it's gonna make me happy and it's it's just something I have to do, da da da. But in I feel like in your her mind, our mind, it's like, okay, he's going off to talk to other people or be with other people and then it's like what am I lacking? So yeah. so like it's it, it's and I, I can go two ways with this, right? It's like realistically, how long does someone calling you cute hit the same like it did in the first or beginning? How long does that kiss like hit the same like it did in the be- in the beginning of a relationship? You know, and so like unless you just dot new wig, handcuffs, and some you know what I'm saying, some whips, you know what I'm saying? Wake up, make him feel like he cheated. You know what I'm saying? Like you spice it up, but after us, anything gets old, everything is boring. You know what I'm saying? After a while, and so it's like. How long until, you know, if you were in a relationship, so you wanted to explore it, so you wanted to feel something new. I know y'all watched that, uh, the uh, Black Mirror, where they put the little thing on. Mm-hmm. The, that show was crazy. How, you know what I'm saying? But you know how to, at the end, the girl, all she wanted was to go to the bar and get hit on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She didn't come home or nothing. She just wanted to, to feel that validation. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I, I think it kind of, it can go in that way type deal. But that, that's why it was so funny. Like, we were in high school, and... Mr. Thomas had, like, his, like, some crazy anniversary, like, wedding anniversary. I think it had to be, like, over 50 or something like that. And oh, and, and Justin Smith was like, bro, you don't get tired of her? Like, you don't want, you don't, like, like how'd you do it? Like, that's a long time. Like, don't you get tired of your wife? And Mr. Thomas was like, no. Nah. He was like, you know, he just said, he's like, he just like, I just, I love my wife. But, like, it didn't even make me question, like, you just sit there and stare at each other 50 years? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like you just say more, I love you every night. Like, good night, love you. Good morning. Hey. Going to work, love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see the and same person like, every day 50 years. And it's like, once you get past your prime, it's nothing, right? It's like, once you get, when, once we're both 50, shit. I mean, I guess we could see her for 20, 30 more years, you know? But yeah. We're 19. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm going to be... Hey, like- I'm gonna be thirty soon. Like, yeah, so so that that's my next question for y'all. What's the earliest y'all would get married, if you ever do get married? Man, I and that's the thing. Someone asked me that the other day, like, what I do I see myself getting married? And I, I the answer to me off my top of my head is like no, because I I don't think I don't think I could be with someone for that. Like, I would like to get married, but like being with someone for that long or like i can't even imagine living with someone for that long. 50 they would, years it would, would have to be your, your yin to your yang you know yeah, literally like, it would have like your soulmate literally. Like anybody that i came across that night now no like it's no. making me feel like no but like if i find that person that's really like my soulmate then yes i yes i could get married but the thought right now just is like, ugh, like I'm supposed to look at you for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm supposed to love only you. Like, yeah. That's tough, bro. I I literally sit every here every day and I pray my soulmate is not a man. I just wait, pray. Wait, wait, wait. I just can't. Wait, wait, wait. You don't see him seeing it in the same way? Like you don't see him being like, What am I not good enough? Because you don't want <clears throat> like type deal. But like me. if my girl if her But I think but that's like I would with you, I feel like because you want to keep holding on to it, you know what I'm saying. You keep right. want to keep holding on to her. If I come across someone that's like, oh yeah, I want to get married, but I'm not at that age yet, then it's like, right. I feel like I can't do anything but let them go because I don't see marriage in my future with you right now. So it's like, if that's really what you want, I can't do anything but let you go. And I feel like I would have to to that conclusion. I think I could would be able to just be like. Oh, I I let let you go. Like we're not on the same page. I would have to let you go. Right. Does that make okay. sense? I can see that. No, for sure. And that's where, like, like you said, where I'm holding on to some. Expect- yeah, like. Right. I think it's selfish because you you want to eat, get your cake, and it, but you don't want her to. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if I I can see if you're like, yeah, she could do the same thing. And I'm like, yeah, that works. Shoot, that's smooth. But like, you're like, oh no, she couldn't even. 
She better not talk to nobody else besides me while right. I'm doing me. Like, no, I don't. For real. And I think that's what, like, how you said different type of love for real. I think that's what it is. Like, it, it's kind of this high standard that we hold, you know, uh, some men at least hold for, like, this queen status of their woman, right? And nobody wants a, a hoe from the brothel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not about <laughs> to create a hoe from the brothel. I might, I might, the, the king gonna have a wife, a queen, and then go visit the brothel. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he's not, he not gonna stay in the brothel. He's not gonna take the bitch right. home, bring her up. You know what I'm saying? But he, like you said, he wants his cake and he eat it too. But if the queen was to, was to cheat, you know, like, I'm not saying yeah. that they care back then. Off with her head type shit. <laughs> Off with her head. <laughs> goddamn king you know what i'm saying like if drake hit my girl i'm not mad i'm i won't yeah. i won't i won't be pressed like if joe bob flipping burgers where she worked is smashed. joe you bob know? this shit is fucking it's, funny it's, it's, it's a different type of thing and that's where it's like if she messes with somebody at this point in our relationship she really likes them you know what i'm saying and wes you know this with patrice right where we talk about the love and the like thing where it's like she really she's trying to she sees something with him that's why she's continuing to invest into it. Where me, like, this is a bitch from the brothel, bitch. I don't, I don't worry about her, you know? Yeah. I mean? It's to the queen. So that's where it's like, I do understand that now where it'd be like, let it go. And then go, go explore. Go work. Go see, you know what I'm saying, what exactly you're looking for. And if it is that, that, that that's what you want, then sit down with that and then kind of make that decision. So but I was going to ask, uh, would y'all have kids before you get married? that's <laughs> that's tough that it's tough but i i feel like i would because like what i said like i don't really marriage is really something that i'm just like uh what i want i want i want but like kids is so it's right. but it's, but it's like do you really know someone well really you don't really know anyone like kids people have kids and then they're like dang i didn't really know them until we had or kid. Yeah, like or you see their true colors and shit. Like I didn't really know them until I got married to them. Like and it's like if that's the case with everything, like why are we holding on to this thing where it's like, oh you should have be married first before you guys have kids? Because there's a lot of times where they have kids and then a year later they're divorced. So it's like And I I I think that like but also like having kids with someone and y'all don't work out, it's it, I think there's it could, it, it could be a, it could be a blessing sometimes because like you know what i'm saying like okay say like you 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 meet like supposedly you think it's the love of your life y'all don't work out but they're a really good person you know what i'm saying like they're a good dad good qualities like you still have a really good you have you got a child out of it and you still have like a great person yeah exactly so like and like a lot of times like you can like a lot of times like it might not happen right away but a lot of times like co-parents can still be really good friends you know what i'm saying so like while y'all didn't work out like while we didn't get married we still have a child together you know what i'm saying like the child still gets lots of love you know things like that but I, that's why i always try to stress to people like you know like because like people would, like be out here like just single no protection yeah. just just ready to have babies with with bitches that like niggas and bitches with niggas and bitches that like have no okay. good ha- that no good niggas that have no good qualities like they don't have a job they're horrible they're a horrible person Horrible with money, like don't care about you, don't care about nothing. themselves. Nothing. It's, it's, uh, right. it's and then tough. and then they get surprised it's like they're a single mom or like a single parent with a deadbeat another deadbeat parent, like But if that's what you find, Pooh, and I am willing to put some money up on a statistic, you know, goddamn, but that's what it is. Is a lot of times is we have these, you know, moms who you know, they're they're in it for the same reasons the male is, and they're not there for the loving, lasting relationship. Yeah. They're just there for the quick, you know what I'm saying, whatever. And so it turns into that, where it's like, you lose, you lose the person, and now you're stuck with the child. And not only you lose them, but now and, that person's not around. And that's literally, like, another thing is like, I hate when women think that a baby will solve their relationship problems with their man, or, or, or it'll, it'll change a man. Cause that's that right there, in my opinion, is the stupidest shit ever. And I hope I don't, if this hurts someone's feelings, I'm not sorry. Cause this is the y'all need to hear this. Having a baby with someone is not gonna fix your guys' relationship. It's not gonna make the man change at all. That 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 nigga's gonna change whenever he wants to. You know what but I'm saying? Like one thing I will say is like if she knows she has a good man, yeah, that baby will change everything. Yeah, and I said because like let's say you get a man who's broken without a father, this that a third. He like, I refuse to, to be the dad for my kid, you know? Yeah. Now, now she like that. 
lock him in, he's not going nowhere. Yeah. And she, he has like this kind of like mentality where he's willing to give up a lot, compromise a lot because he wants to be a great father. And I think women take advantage of that, you know? Yeah. For real. But in, in the cases where it doesn't work out, you got you got just two miserable ass people who hate each other but mm-hmm. have to like co try to coexist. Even sometimes they won't like because they have a child together, you know what I'm saying? So like if if you out here, like I said, like bottom line, if you out here thinking that a baby can solve that issue, like your relationship problems, it's not like it's gonna. If anything, it's just gonna make it worse. And I think that's the worst way for a child to be brought into this world is as like a band aid, and essentially, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they're they're supposed to fix all this shit. It's not like I just believe that children should be brought into this world with love, you know, with the purpose of love, with the purpose of like I want to pass this. I want like I want to carry my gen like my 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 generation, like, my generation stuff on, you know what I'm saying? So I think sure. that, I think that people, sometimes, often people have babies, I don't want to say for the wrong reason, but you know what I mean. I, I feel like a lot of it's intentional, too, like, if y'all are making love and, like, one night stand, great conversation, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Y'all both great people and y'all are yeah. making love rather than, like, a quick book, like, that's when it turns into, like, this child has potential to grow into something great opposed to this child has a very slim chance to become like a healthy citizen in our society. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it wasn't intentionally, you know, created with the intent to become that. It was just like, you know, let's both get our rocks off real quick, which more power to you. But um, how do y'all feel about abortion? Big question, big question. I'm all, I'm, I'm fucked up. I almost said I'm all for it, but I, I am, like, essentially, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Because, <laughs> like, if you are, if you look at, like, situations of, like, obvious situations for, like, rape, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like you know, you don't want a fucking 12-year-old girl to have a baby. That's not fair to her, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's, she's still a kid, you know? And, and I think that, like, it shouldn't be used as birth control, like, oh, I'm not using protection, I'm being irresponsible, I'll just get an abortion. But I also think that our foster care system, and, like, we have so many unwanted babies, and taking away abortions and things like that is just going to lead to people dumping babies, illegal abortions that kill people, illegal abortions that get, leave you with infections, um, and just, like I said, unwanted, unwanted children. And that's not fair for a kid to be brought into this world just to be, like, essentially abandoned by everyone in the world, you know? That's, uh, like at that point, no offense, just just kill it. Not like that. Not like murder a kid, but like right. kill it when it's it sells, you know. Right. Or don't or don't create it. Essentially. Yeah. Why? Um, I definitely um agree with it. I feel like people should be able to get it. I just know that it's something that I wouldn't be able to do, but I do believe that people should be able to have that option if that's um what they're looking for. I don't think it's fair that people um could choose whether or not if you're gonna carry your baby. Like that's not up to you. Right. I mean, not to, that's not up to anybody else other than other than them. That's when they're seventy year old white men. Yeah. Yeah. Especially people who don't know how hard it is these days to raise a child with very low resources. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um so how do y'all feel about like like who said with foster care or like would y'all adopt children or would y'all want them to be your own? Hmm. I think I would adopt. Just yeah. but just because though, like I don't know, like if you're able, like okay, like my dad never adopted kids, but just seeing like the impact he's been able to have on kids' lives, like just by like stepping in, helping them, you know what I'm saying? Like even like when. Like, they just stayed at our house a few nights, you know, or even, like, when he doesn't, they don't stay at our house, but, like, he'll buy them shoes, things like that. Like, there's a lot of kids, especially even, like, around here that, like, could benefit from, like, being adopted by a loving family or, like, a family that cares about them. A lot of times, that's that's honestly all, like, I guess you should say, like, bad kids need is just, like, a, okay, sometimes they need to ask them, but, like, essentially they need, like, someone to, like, support them and believe in them, you know? Yep. Is this happening again? And hello. There it is. Yeah. I was like, not again. 
All right, by next time, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a better setup so I'm not lagging and my mic's better everything. But, but um, um, no, I have to have my own kids. I'm very against adopting, like unless I can't have kids, then I would adopt. But I think I would try to impact the children the same way that Big Dave did by just being around and being present. You know, yeah, you could fuck around. And- Go coach a football team and feel like they all your sons, you know what I'm saying? Or go coach a baseball team and feel like you still kind of have this, like, I'm touching, you know, the people in the way that I, I should or that, you know, I feel I should. Type yeah. Thing, so. um, but I, I always felt very strongly about having my own children. I, I think it's, like, genetically, like, correct. I don't know. Well, I mean, like, I would have my own kids first, definitely. But, like, obviously after, like, if I, like, you know, came across a situation of, like, okay, like, I don't think I would ever go through the whole process of trying to adopt a kid just because that shit's really fucking hard, but, like, kind of like how my dad did, you know, like, if you come across a kid in the town who's, like, doesn't have a good home life, and I'll be like, you know what, like, you can just, you got, like, you can come stay with us. No, for sure. For sure. That's you, Killa. Right, we'll yeah. Huh? Um, uh, yeah, I would want my own kids. Boo-boo, tired. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I would want my own kids, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see that, Yon? It's past our bedtime. Huh? Yeah. No, it's not. I've been time. staying up to, like, 2, 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, Damn, yeah. bitch. I was up to, like, 6 the last couple of nights, I'm not gonna lie. You on my, y'all on my type of time. I should have hit y'all up when I got off. Sure should have. We were up. We were up. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Ooh. Go ahead, go ahead. What? No, I was about to show you. Mm. What's who's one stranger I will always remember? Mm. Leroy? But well, I such yeah, a fucking light it. skin. Oh my He's god, going. Jordan's in the chat. Where are you at? Yeah, yeah. but I yeah, yeah. Oh my god. god. Alright, um What's just this? answer that real quick. I had this deep drunk conversation in Cincinnati, bro. Can't remember his face. Can't remember his name. Can't even remember what we talked about. But I know sure <laughs> we had a great conversation. And I'll never forget it. Wow. We just took my life drunk at a bar. So. What? It's always the it drunk was, ones. It was, it's always, always, always. Yeah. Especially when you feel free enough to speak to people and just talk about anything. It's so cool. You, know? you just be like networking. Like, it's so easy. Hey, so real quick, just to interrupt, I see all these. All these K's next to these numbers, and I I can't wait till we got a K next to ours. But we'll we'll wait we'll wait for that day. I, I see 10K, 70K, 25, 12, 26, 32. God damn. Love it. All right. Sorry. Stranger. Uh, for me, um, I've had a lot of like really funny encounters. Like just like okay, this sounds really lame, but like okay, so we are drunk one night. And I had a shitty night at this fucking Japanese steakhouse, so I had to get Chick-fil-A for dinner. And we pull up, and it's like these 16-year-old, 17-year-old kids in high school. And I was so drunk at the at this point. I was like, I was ordering my food. Well, he was, just, he was just, like, really entertaining with us, but he was, like, really super polite. Like, you know how sometimes teenagers be assholes, but this kid was super polite. I was like, well, I was, like, I was trying to figure out what to order, and I was like, I'm going to get some nuggets. But I was like, if you were drunk, what size would you get? And he was like, go ahead and get the 12 count. And then I, my drunk ass offered him a shot, even though he was 17, and I was like, nah, let me just leave. Nah. But yeah. They I don't know. Hawk- you know, it's just like, sometimes, like, when you're just that drunk, you just need someone to be nice to you a little bit and entertain the conversation. No, for real. Hmm. Boo-boo, stranger, and then ask. For me, it was this what this, I was sitting at LC at work, and this boy came in, and I wasn't going to say anything to him. But, like, he just was wandering around. So I asked him, like, do you need help or anything? And then um, he walked up to me, and we just started talking. And then I was just, like, explaining the um, the gym to him and stuff and, like, all the things that, like, LC had to offer and stuff. And he was like, yeah, I'm transferring here next um, year. And I was kind of nervous about it. And um, thank you for talking to me. And I, was just, oh, God. and I was like, if I didn't say anything to him, he probably wouldn't really like He'd been scared. Yeah, yeah. Um, hey, Wes, why, why I was thinking the same over here, like, boo, this is like a little, 
Slow, yeah, though, no, Mar. Just slow. Slow. Yeah. I what? Do down on it. Yeah, you flirt with that nigga. So I'll, show you, I'll show you around. What? <laughs> 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 uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh no, get the little white girl. <gasps> oh, that video of y'all on vacation. Yo, you just had to be there. It was so freaking crazy, dude. I know Eric was like, y'all supposed to be my cousins. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> my cousin. I'm here looking crazy. Um, Yeah, run that. Run that, boo-boo. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> y'all funny, three wise. <laughs> what witches that. am I happy I burned? Huh? Oh. What witches am I happy I burned and why? It's never I'm my give... fault. Uh, type shit. Type shit. I want to give one. Uh, It was when I worked at Olive Garden in, in uh, Mansfield. I think. I got fired because I uh, called off two hours before and I walk into work and I'm ready to work a little, probably like two minutes later or something, you know. And they're like, hey, we got to talk to you. I sit down. They're like, we got to let you go. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, get let go. Go home. Mom's like, I want to play. I'm like, bet. And then they're like, we need to do a little case to see if you like were rightfully fired or not. And I wasn't. So I ended up winning a case and uh, now the, the gay GM always be trying to Facebook message me, but I'd be like, fuck <laughs> so, that's, the, that's the one bridge I think like uh, I'm just, like I'm glad I burnt for real because huh. I got to see their true colors in that sense you know oh yeah are really gonna let me go for real hey. that's all I did for y'all that's a great question oh that's enough time that is a good question Cam uh This girl, she was crazy. I I stopped talking to her because I I didn't stop talking to her. I was talking to other girls and she like got mad at me and stopped talking to me. And like two weeks later, like it wasn't like a what was it? Someone had posted something about her being crazy, like she had like heed someone's car, like some shit like that. And I was like, damn. That wasn't Dodge even bullet. that wasn't even the worst thing she did either. I was like, jeez. Dodge I did. Mm -mm. My intuition knows. My intuition tells me to cheat at the right time. Mm -hmm. you know? Let it go. Exactly. Maybe my intuition be talking to me too. I'm telling you, bro. You gotta listen to that shit. Thank you. Uh -huh. I gotta listen to it. Talking to you. Um, for me, ooh, bitches. I think like just. It's crazy. Uh, cutting. <laughs> people out that like no longer like um benefit you not benefit but yeah not benefit but yeah benefit like yeah. you're not doing nothing for me but i constantly show up for you yeah you gotta go hmm. so yeah like, those type of people for real and i think it's good like once you sense that red flag especially when it comes to showing up for me time to go time to go you got to go you ain't gotta go home but you gotta get the fuck out of here Get up, go, go, go. Get up out of here. Okay. Let me see. I know we be, we be doing last call and be saying that as soon as it's 12 o'clock here, 2 o'clock here. Damn. I can't wait to come. Oh, please. Definitely got I to. Gotta come, come see me live in action. I'll show you all the, the coolest spot in Phoenix. This isn't in, the, this isn't in the book, but since we're like mainly been on relationships, do you guys believe in unconditional love? To um, a certain extent. Okay. It, it don't... Go ahead, boo. Go ahead. Like you're not finna, not finna forgive you for cheating on me. I'm not finna forgive you for like, you know, fucking killing my dog or something. You know, like <laughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like shit like that that's really fucked up. Like, I can okay. Obviously, I can forgive you. You know, if you were, you know, we're arguing, you say something fucked up to me, I can forgive that. Um. Mm -hmm. You know, you just have a rough mental, like, mental health history, you know, like, so, like, you, kind of how Leek talked about earlier, like, like, you just shut down sometimes and don't talk to me for all, like, for hours on end. I can get over that. Um, really, That's anything. 
Like, <laughs> I can get over anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you burn my dinner. I can get over that. But, like, you can't, you can't fuck someone. You can't put your hands on someone. You can't cheat on someone. You can't do fuck super fucked up shit like that's morally wrong and expect me to just be like oh it's okay because i love you you know i'll get over it right oh mm. no and oh. i think it would like to define unconditional love in this sense in the context that i think you're talking about i think it's like i will love you through thick and thin through whatever you do make it you know what i'm saying and i think that's possible but it's not realistic and it's like <laughs> man change that <laughs> Where you at? <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, and I'm making. This bitch is on the lake. She's on the lazy river. She's on the lake. On the hippopotamus in the water. Y'all ain't see me catch that fight though. I'm weak as hell, man. The phoenix ain't so up. Yeah, 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 Oh, we, oh, we, oh, we. Okay, okay. This bitch. Go Serious ass conversation. You just see yeah, this bitch like, with a fucking hippo. Oh. I'm like, where do I change my shit? Jeez, like, oh. you done started something. Oh, good. But no, how did you get that one, though? Sorry. If you click on the camera? Yeah, I know how to get no. it, pull it up, but like. Shit, teach me. What's up? Click the yeah, you gotta click on the camera. Are we all gonna do it now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you a computer? Yeah. Ooh, I, I love squid painting you got. That bitch would be cool. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I can't do it on mine. <laughs> but, yeah, unconditional, I mean, like... <laughs> like, can you love... I guess kind of it's kind of what you were talking about, but I don't believe in unconditional love. I think it there's always a condition to it. Like, you... I don't know. I, I just that, don't believe it. Your condition would be showing up, showing up for me. Yes, like, you have to show, like, it's things that I need from a relationship that I need you to hit for me in order to still be in a relationship. That's a condition. Like, it's, there's no such thing as unconditional love. Like, I don't believe in that. And I even think, like, <laughs> having children comes from a selfish standpoint sometimes, right? So that's not, that's there's a condition upon that. As long as you ain't right. the baby crying all the time, I guess I love you. You know what I'm saying? Or, or when you're, and, and I think it's more like, it's like being happy. Unconditional love is like a, like an emotion. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, at, in a certain time, I feel completely devoted to you. But like, like Pooh said, if you kill Layla, I'm like, I don't I, fuck with you. You might have to die. You know I can't what I'm saying? get over so, that. You know? You know like, I can't get over that. Like, that's, that's, like, that's like imagine someone just like some girl, like, don't like Solo, so she just kill her. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, if you mess with someone that is off the set like that, that's different. Huh? <laughs> I'm just saying. I love Solis. She's a she she she's our she's our sponsored pet of the week. That's <laughs> just so. I like that. I'm gonna get a big ass picture. I'm gonna hang it up. In my room. You gotta put like gotta a crown go. on her though, in yep, the picture. Yep. Yeah, I got one. I actually do. Um, on Instagram. But uh, what do y'all think about the 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 phrase or the term falling in love like what does that look like to you what does it smell like what does it taste don't tell me what it tastes like <laughs> like what is wait sorry can you repeat that just yeah, trying to change her uh, background again falling in love falling in love yeah what does that look like like is that a th can you can oh shit can you describe it or, or or is there such thing as falling in love? Like, what is that? You know, or um, like saying, unconditional love. So, how do? Ooh, sorry, I was doing some work. <laughs> this is clocked in but, too. Um, yeah, <laughs> Wait, so I but I think it would. I think. It's hard to describe that. Like, I think when you, I think maybe when you like always want to be with them and then you just always think about them. I don't know. And you just, I don't know. That's a hard question. Jeez. What do you, what do you think, Cam? 
Well, I mean, I think like falling in love is like the like falling is a perfect phrase to use for it because like it usually happens like like how you fall, you know what I'm saying? Like unexpected, right. fast, like yeah, you can't stop it, you know what I'm saying? Like it happens like that, you know? Like you can like the more like you try to like slow it down or stop it because like there's this that's kind of me and Mar talking about earlier, you know? Like I'm saying, like I know by like the first week of like talking or being with someone that like if this is gonna be something that like I want to keep going with Wait. or Real quick, keep that. Where are listening to the podcast? My girl looks at me like, "Did you know in the first week that I was out of here?" I'm weak as fuck, Leek. <laughs> you said she did that today. Today, because she picked me up from the uh, from the car. Oh place. yeah. <laughs> Like, you know? <laughs> I feel like, but I, I think that's true. Like, I feel like you know, like. No, you definitely do. Like, especially I like if it's real. Like, you know if you want to be with them or not. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think, like, I don't know. Like, like kind of like Marcella, like like Marcella said, like falling in love is just like, you know, like you think about them, all, think about them all the time. You think about how like your your decisions affect them. You think about ways that like you can be a better person or them ways they can be like a better person you know what i'm saying like things that make them happy um and i think just essentially like you know just like like how you feel about them like you know like i think that a lot of times like i said like people think that like you know you can't fall in love with someone like it takes six months to a year to fall in love with someone or in reality it takes however long you you want it, your body like you're however long it takes you you know what i'm saying like I think a lot of people try to suppress those feelings because they feel like they're falling in love too quick and that's an uncomfortable feeling because I've been there before, you know, like, I'm like, damn, how am I catching feelings for this girl? And we only, we've only been talking, not, we've only been hanging out for, like, a week, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how is this, how is this okay? Like, is this not cool? Like, and you get that fear in your body of, like, okay, like, what if I get my heart broken and shit like that, so. Falling in love is hard. Not for sure. And I, I think it's one of those things where, like, it's not something you really control. It's 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 really up and up to like the chemistry that you have with the person. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, it kind of like just takes off in its own like you know stream or accord, so to say. Like it just does what <clears throat> it. I don't know. And then when I ask the question, because it's like in the beginning of relationships or whatever, like everybody says, like oh, I'm falling in love, you know, whatever, whatever. But it's like, what does that? That really mean? What does that mean to y'all? What does that mean to me? You know what I'm saying? What does that mean to the person who says it? And so. I just thought it was a cool, cool little yeah, side. I, I definitely feel like people mistake having love for someone and being in love with someone. Yeah. So, exactly. like, I, I, so I think that's, you have to make that known. Like, I have love for you, but I'm not in love with you. Like, if you left me today, then I'll be set up a little bit, but like, you can get over it. Yeah. Exactly. And that I'm is about right. that. That's where I'm at in my relationship. It's like, she's in love with me, but I haven't reached that. And so it's not that I don't love her or that I don't have love for her. I have love for I, her, but you're not right. in love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So, okay, yeah, that makes So, like, do you, makes, do you tell her you love her? Yeah. Like, yeah, that, because you do, but you're right. not in love. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yep. So that was my next question. I was like, are you able to distinguish, like, you know, like, like you said, like, okay, I, I can tell you I love you, but not be in love with you. Like, mm-hmm. like, if I call her while she's at work, I'm like, I need you to come right now. She's going to come. If she called me while I'm at work, I'm like, I need you to come right now. I'm like, bitch, I'm at work. Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? Like, hold on. I'll clock out. I'll be there. I oh, think, my God. I think that's what it is, right? Is when you're that deep in love, you're like, you know, on go, on go. But if you can control it to the point where it's like, like you said, pool distinguishing and that balance, then it's like, you're not, you're not as taken over by emotion when it comes to you know, whatever it is that somebody needs from you, whatever it is that, you know, is going on within your relationship. I think, my opinion, say that. Keep everything on record, you know what I'm saying? It's my yeah. opinion. Where else? God damn it. All right, I need like three great questions, boo-boo. Get it. We got, 20, got like 20. Do you guys want to pick numbers? Or like, no, I what you, do you guys yeah. want? You, you've been picking some good ones. Uh-huh. You guys want to stay in like relationships? You guys want to explore something else? Um, let's go. Three seventy five is on my mind, so tell me what that is. I'm gonna grab my book real quick. That. Yeah, I need to get my book. I should have left out. Oh, that's a 
good one, Nick. Excited. Wonderful weather we're having, guys. 95 tomorrow. Well, here. Bitch says she's still at work. That's beyond me. Uh -uh. Oh. All right, go ahead. What's, what's 375? Okay. Is there a meaning to life? If so, what is it? If not, why do I think there isn't? Hey. Okay, I would just have to say, um, I would say, uh, yes, there is a meaning to life, and it, it is based on the individual's uh, path, and I would say that, you know. I don't think there's a, a, a meaning to the general experience of life, meaning like, like, United States versus Russia, like that shit, that ain't got no purpose, you know what I'm saying? But I think that the past of everybody who, you know, embodies a, a being, that has the meaning, that is the life. And so the purpose of it is simply to experience. And I like the idea, I don't know if you ever play Injustice, but like they have like different meta worlds, like you can literally like go to a world, you know, that's slightly have different powers and shit, and it changes, you know what I'm saying? So it changes, I think like, when we leave this Earth, we're going to go to, like, a whole new, like, we're going to be living on Jupiter. We're, like, we can see six moons in the sky, and we can, or you know, actually fly fucking, you know, whatever, whatever. So I think just, like, actually exploring the possibilities of life in its total encapsulation is the meaning of life, to be honest. Um, that's my thoughts, my opinion. What do y'all think? That's a, that's a hard question. Um, I think, like, the meaning of life is just it's different from what it what we have now like in my opinion like the proper meaning of life was like that ass like i it would be hard for me to live in now because where we're at but the dead ass like the best like life was seemed like was like back before all this shit was here you know what i'm saying like you know like 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 you dead ass like you woke up you made you grew your own food like you like farmed your own food like as far as like you know you raised your own food like raised your own chickens meat everything like you know, you built your house by yourself, like, hunted for your food, um, yeah. like, just, and, and that's, yeah, it's crazy, because, because, like, a lot of people don't realize, like, like, how, like, Mother Nature gives you everything you need to live, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, and, like, like I said, obviously, I can never live that way now, because I'm so used to this, and I'll admit that, but, like, Mother Nature literally gives you the power to grow your own food, feed your own cattle so you can have, like, food like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gives you, like, rocks and shit you can make, like, how they used to make spears and shit like that, sticks like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just nuts how, how the hell it's set up. You ever seen a movie, um, Synchronization? No, I don't think so. Or Synchronicity? It's basically where this guy, like, he pops a drug in his mouth, and wherever he's standing will take him back to a location in time. Whoa. So, like, if he's standing standing to the right of his couch, it'll take him back to 10,000 BC. If he's standing to the left of his couch, it'll take him to slavery time. I think y'all should watch it, but it's like, the ultimate, like, telling of the book was, or the movie was, we are living in the best time to live now. Because in 10,000 BC, the nigga had to walk 10,000 miles with no shoes on in the cold. Yeah. And when you're just living in black times, if you're a black man, like, imagine, imagine you take a drug to the left of your couch, boom. Now you're in slavery times. So you're a black man in some white dude's couch or some house. Man, the whole KKK coming after you. On me. You know? <laughs> you're not surviving. Literally. And so it's like, you know, whatever time you go through back in history and try to pick, like, now is the best time to, to live. But now is the best time there has ever been. You know what I'm saying? Because we do have this freedom. We do have this experience. We are going through a term, tumultuous phase where everybody's mental health is in disarray. You know what I'm saying? But I doubt motherfuckers was trying to fight off tigers, you know what I'm saying, to get yeah. fights to eat, but living mentally stable either, you know what I'm saying, so it's like at this point in our life, I think we just reached that point, you know, at this point in the evolution this time scale that we live in um, it's just at that point where it's like, like, if we could understand how far we've came as humans, then we would value with the time we live in, you know we don't have to walk 100,000 miles we don't have to walk 10,000 miles, we can drive we can fly, we don't have to take a fucking boat across 
the Atlantic Sea to get to America. No, I take hop on the plane. And it's I, crazy. You know, better, you know, and so. The river baths. I think that's the coolest thing. Oh, boo, I, boo, I don't know if I said it. I love that squid poster behind you. Oh, this, oh, this one? Ash made that. Yeah, tell Ash she's gonna have to get me right for free. Yeah, so does she, she, she gotta make me a couple of different things, so. Just message her, or I'll hit her up, actually. She better be in here. Oh, me, her. Ash. Mm. Don't be so poor and full. We gotta jump her. Oh. I'm taking care of Cam. Okay, you said you need three more? Okay, give me another Cam. Give me a number. Four. Four eighty-seven. Four eighty-seven. Four eighty-seven. Uh, what's what's question. the best drug to have sex on? <laughs> Mole. Oh, I mean, I'm only. I'm gonna say shrooms. Mm. Shrooms for five hundred, please. Shrooms for five hundred. I like, uh, see, and I like so. It was a year ago today when I first did my, and I to all the kids out there, never do it, please. It was it was an amazing time, but I don't think you should do it. Um, but I think the reason why is because it it made you so like alive in your mind, like stimulated in your mind. Yeah. That like opposed to shrooms, where not only are you stimulated, but you're like low key and like a schizophrenic side my frame so i don't know how opening that much energy and letting it come into while off shrooms would affect my mind but i know if it was like on something like molly where it's just like neurons firing off in my brain telling me that i'm what is it serotonin that i'm happy yeah. you know what i'm saying that that would like enhance it 10 times okay so yeah shrooms. I, mean, I, I, like shrooms. I, I think it was just fun for me because like i mean I, every time at least like knock on wood every time i'm taking shrooms it's been a happy good experience you know what i'm saying right. so like it's like I'm literally sitting here just happy as fuck, just fucking looking at my LED lights. That's that's just making me happy. So imagine like just sushi yeah. in your face, you know? Ten times happier. <laughs> Ten times happier. Bend it oh, bend it like just party time. And then like you got like I remember after I had such a moment where like I didn't give a fuck about nothing but the fact that we had these uh, we had these Doritos in the kitchen. I was like, hell yeah. These Doritos are about to smack. You know, it's probably burst in your mouth like Starburst. Or but I'm talking about they're just so like so much flavor on them damn chips. Boy. This random, but I'll um, I'll never in my life forget leaking them fucking one Doritos. Oh, the the ranch. Yeah, ranch. you went hard on ranch. them. The Jack, if you know, you know. If you don't, you broke. You missing out, goddamn. On me. Um. All right, let's go, boo boo. I'm about to give you one. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, okay, I don't know if you're ready for this. Do we just exist as an idea in the mind? Do we just exist as an idea in the mind? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay, so let me ask you about that question. Okay. Do is it does it mean as um you know the difference in how people view you like i view myself as um one way mm. but will look at me as something else does so, like that or like, how overall do we only in are, are me and Pooh real people or are we just in your head hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would hope so because i i would no i would hope not i think i think no, I think people exist. I don't think they're just in your head. Um, no, I, I'm not ready. <laughs> Her mind just got blown. No, oh, well, like you, and you said that so calm. Hmm. Well, wait, wait, wait. go ahead. You remember that guy when we went out for my birthday, and the guy, and he said, "What did he say to you?" And you were like, "I'm speechless." Like he was like. Okay. Wait, your birthday? Like, yes, when we went out to the- He did not remember that night, Markayla. <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> you blacked out. Like, cool, but we ran into this- I think his name was Malcolm. I want to say his name was Malcolm. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Wes, you know what to do with this one. What did he yeah. say to you that blew your mind? I'm sorry. I just- 
No, you're right. And that was it. He basically said what we were talking about right now. Yo, he just scared the fuck out of me with that right there. He that's, scared me with that. That's what I said. That's what I said. Like, that's what what I said. I said. Like? <laughs> so I said, Wes, you know what to do with that one. So, so me and Boo Boo uh, were in BG and uh, playing pool with this philosopher dude. You know what I'm saying? He's studying philosophy at BG. Came up to us and was like, uh, you know, we're talking, whatever. And then he like, am I really here right now? Or am I just a figment of your imagination? And I'm sitting here like, I what the that's fuck? what I like. I'm like, wait, because because I'm thinking about the question like, my does my version of you ex- really exist? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I think about you one way, but right. are you really that? But you be yourself right. a completely different way. Yes. So like, Cam views mm-hmm. me as this amazing, like amazing Talented. person. Bubbly, yes. yeah, keep wealthy, oh, super beautiful. That's true. Uh-huh. Slow down. Right. And then, funny, funny yeah. Jeez. I mean, wait. See, maybe I did this wrong because those it's are good. How is yours, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just kidding, but um, dang, that's all. That's why I asked, like, is it how we view each other? Like, I view you one way but you're not exactly that or is it really like do y'all even exist mm. i would hope so because i mean but that shit i don't hope so y'all exist it'll right? be it'll be a lonely motherfucking world if, if for real because right? then if you think about it you're just you're crazy then you're just you're <laughs> literally crazy. because all these people that you wanted to and you talk to they're just your imagination. Right, they're not right. really there. You're crazy. You you would have to be crazy. You're lonely. But I, like think, you're... I feel like it would be like we're all crazy then. And I Damn. think, uh, you know, and it's yeah, not. So, but like, it's it's only cool. It's only cool to ask the question because when we all think about it as three people, then there's no way that one person can exist in because all of you are thinking as I am thinking right now. But it but yeah. like if I am to just think as just me. There is a potential that I'm just staring at screens right now and everything's playing in my head. Not that it's like realistic, but that could that if but, that was it, that's what it would be. But like look at look at like I'm gonna just take it there. A complete stranger, you like Malik, you know in Arizona, but we have no idea who this person is, right? But, like someone that like okay, someone walks into your bar, you meet them, have an amazing conversation with them, you go to tell your girl later, like, hey, this this guy, now I'll point him out next time he comes in, he comes in a lot. And, like, what if, like, he really is just, like, at the end of the day, like, someone made up because you, she's never seen him. None of us have ever seen him. Like, what if he really is just, like. See, and, and that's where, that's where it gets kind of difficult to, like, live with certain things. Because I think, like, you know how many names? I get credit cards every day. You know how many names I see? How many bullshit waves? Man. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on my phone. How many bullshit, like, names I see? Or not even bullshit, but it's, like. Faces on 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 faces. Like at a certain point, it feels like somebody's just generating people around the corner, and they're just popping them out of the machine, walking into the bar. You know, that's how you feel with that watch right there. You like, man, like, like, I ain't never seen y'all here a day in my life, bro. And that's what's that shit scares the fuck out of me because I'm like, you see so many fucking. All right, let me tell you. Let me just tell you real quick because this has to correlate with like with this shit, but like. What fucking terrifies me and blows my mind to the point where, like, it'll make me, like, anxious is, like, big cities like New York, Phoenix, or L.A. Like, like, LJ. He probably has no idea who his neighbors are. And that's an everyday thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like, bro, like, someone posted a video of them at, like, the top of, like, this tall-ass building in New York. And it's millions of people. They each have their own separate lives. Like, Someone's waking up going to the office to be a lawyer. Someone next, their next door neighbor's waking up to go sell fucking food on the street. This other person's going to fucking college. This other person has like a three bedroom, a three bedroom apartment with five kids. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone has their own different life, and it fucking freaks me out. Like you never know. Like you walk past thousands of strangers a day, and like how many of these niggas you think are robots or like not real people? You know what I'm saying? Like. And that shit, like, that, obviously it could be a stretch, but that shit freaks me the fuck out, like. And like you said, that it, it could be, like, because I used to do the same thing, but, like, just, but I, I kind of can't, but Wes helped a lot with that, which is, like, shutting down false I- ideologies, you know? It, which is kind of, like, bringing you back into the real world. And the problem with it is, like, 
there's no way to really know like if somebody is a real person or not you know what i'm saying and it's not to say that people aren't real but it's like that idea being planted in your head saying like there's potential that you might meet somebody that is not a real person you know what i'm saying like that that just blows my mind because i haven't met a, a non-real person i've only met real people you know yeah as far as, as far as i think type deal so um no, it's it's puzzling for sure. But like you said, it's cool because the emotion you feel with it. It's not yeah. like you're terrified. It's not like you're scared, but it's 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 hard to It's like uncomfortable. Name, yeah, to name that anonymousness. Yeah. I mean, but like but like what you said about the thing being in your brain that reminds me of that fucking movie, uh, Inside Out. You know, the, the movie with all the emotions and shit like that. So you got like joy, anger, sadness and all of them yeah. and like at one point like I forgot how the fuck he gets erased, but, like, this elephant named Bing Bong gets, like, erased or, like, killed off. But, like, he literally just, he, like, literally disappears. But, like, this, this there's having so many real interactions with these, like, emotions that, like, like, they're, they're their own people. But, like, it seems to the point where you're, like, damn, like, these people really exist, but, like, they don't. But they do in a way because, like, your joy exists, right. your sadness exists, your anger right. exists, you know, shit like that. Like, right. it's so crazy. They don't, the physical form that they exist is, like, an entity, you know? Yeah. As a cat. Like a chakra exists, you know, type deal. Um, and now what's called? Feel my head up till I <laughs> twist. BB, got the BB. It's um, all right, man. We love all here around here. Y'all want to wrap it up? One more question. Yep, last one. Make it good, boo boo. Me or is it Lee? Oh yeah, my four, my four. Oof, my legs hurt. Um, Oh shit! All right. I'm Wait, can I book. speak on something that um? Get it off your chest, girl. Come on, Not take me. space. I've been needing to bring it up the last couple of times, but I just read something about dreams, so I have been feeling like deja vu, like so much of the things that I'm experiencing right now feels like deja vu, like when I met um. Jersey and Damian at the training I was like I've seen them before and I said this to your mom I was like everything lately everything has been feeling like deja vu and she was just like that just means like you're on the right path like mm -hmm. it feels like when it feels like that it just feels that you're on the right path and I was like what do you guys think about that uh, well I have her mindset implanted in mine so I believe yeah. the same thing you know sadly yeah. but not sadly but I think that's what it is I think it is like because it's crazy. Like, I'm sitting, there's times when I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, like, I feel yeah. like I've done this before. Or, like, I walk by someone, I'm like, yo, I've seen them before. And even though it's the first time that we've ever met or we ever interacted, I'm like, I've seen you before. I know you from somewhere. So Isn't it cool that not only visually you see it, but you feel it? You feel yeah. it. Yeah. Like, you like, damn. I like, feel like. Yeah, and I'm like, yo. You remember like, the little toys you know, or the little puzzle blocks that used to just fit perfectly yep into the little it like you know, pops like slides like, in like it like clicks in kind of yep just like that that's what it feels like sometimes so it's pretty it's pretty yes. cool it's bro, crazy I, bro but no it, it is crazy because then it's like does that mean i've been here before right and that that shit can be scary then, though wait, yes because then it's like does it mean i've been if i've been there before does it mean that i'm back track because if i'm experiencing this again did i do something wrong on that path now have, have you ever looked at it like that that's what so i'd be thinking because you're like you're like what's the point of me coming back like is like the outcome gonna be different like am i gonna have like the you know how like it's like that joke about how like if y'all ever watch time travel movies like every little every little thing you do can, every little can affect is... something deep in the future so, like what if like you're on this path again and like you're gonna tweak one little thing something as simple as like you change the fucking shoes you wear which makes you take longer, makes you right. a little bit later to work, and that that outcome is completely different. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just that's just weird, bro. But but that's where we get the ideas of like, do we have free will? Do we even can we even choose? Can we even make a decision? Right? Somebody right. asked me when I was in college for philosophy. They're like, "What did you eat for breakfast today?" And I'm like, "Oatmeal." And he like, uh, "Did you choose that?" And I'm like, yeah, I, like I, I woke up, I, I grabbed the oatmeal. And he's like, well, what else did you have to eat for breakfast? I'm like, well, I only had oatmeal. He's like, so did you oatmeal? I'm like, 
Oatmeal chose you. Like, <laughs> like nigga, oatmeal chose you, my nigga. Or you weren't going to eat breakfast. Like, because <laughs> I know you would have wanted some some bacon, some pancakes, some waffles, you know, like, the whole, some eggs. The, the works. The whole set, like. You know, but it brings up the idea, are we really in, in control of our decisions? Or yeah. are outside circumstances and variables just placed? What did you wear today? Like, what made you? What made you wear that? Oh, because you wore another shirt the day before and you didn't want to wear the same shirt twice. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I always said this, and we can leave with this. I always said, if, if there was a computer smart enough to like know someone's life in and out and like make the right prediction, then they would know where you would go from start to finish in your life. If they can make every decision, because humans aren't the as sporadic as we think. You're not about to wake up today like, fuck it, I'm about to just jump off the roof. You know what I'm saying? You're going to stay within your, you know, okay, maybe I'm going to wear some tighter shorts than I wore yesterday. Maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a let a little nipple out. You know what I'm saying? Today. <laughs> maybe I'm only going three buttons when I normally do four. You know what I'm saying? But it's like anything that makes you change in that slightest way is a result of something outside of you. Mm-hmm. And that's wow. why we get into, is it, is this free will or is it deterministic? Has it already been laid? Has I already been, have I already lived this path? And then I'm just rerunning. You know what I'm saying? I like and that. Can, uh, you know. And so next next week, free will determinism. Be here, be square, goddammit. And that's that. Yeah. Go away. Yeah, we baby. appreciate all y'all that tuned in tonight. Um as usual, so, okay. the video will be on YouTube after. This time I actually got the chat to be included, like Link asked, so that way when y'all watching the video on YouTube after, um, you can actually follow along with it and stuff like that. So we will see you guys next Monday around 8 p.m. and i know we're always late but it wouldn't be us if we weren't late so hey pub swift james come next week bro and you won't you won't feel dumb bro we'll you never feel we'll dumb go, here we'll go through it i mean we might feel dumb but that's not you but it's a safe zone man all right love y'all all right have a good that. night guys all right you too